cruising with guns But my friends laughing, raise her on the roof of my tongue If there is static, see what money make you become Be a true savage, money double up Yo, you now tuned in to the I Eat Battle Rap Podcast Featuring custom made menace and Dutch K.I.B. Sucker Alright man, yo, what's going on folks? Your boy Dutch K.I.B. Kip As long as you keep it a buck your boy Custom Made Menace, you on TV, TV back on media shit. We are back. And you tune in. I hate battle rap. What the fuck is What the hell? <laughs> uh, r- 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 yeah, r- r- yeah, wrong um, sound effect, man. Wrong sound effect. Shout out to Chess, man. Hit he play. Ah! <laughs> hit a replay on it. See, I think it's ain't had enough. Wait. Word. There we go. 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 Alright, that's, that's enough, man. That's enough. Hey, man, man. How was your weekend, man? How was your weekend? Man, I was cooling, man. Just catching back up, running errands and all that good stuff. Taking care of business. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I did. I had the event on Saturday. See, this is what happens when you smoke weed. Everything that happens like a couple days ago feels like it didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, so I, d- I did an event Saturday. Zoo Battle League out here in Tampa. Cuban battled on the card. Um, Chef Trez battled on the card. It was a fire two on two on there. There's um, two guns and a uh, two four two that's in the PGs. And mm. boy, Fredo, the Av, they had a crazy two on two, bro. I, like, there's a bunch of clips going around on Twitter right now. People been posting clips of that shit. But yeah, so I, I was there for that. Cuban did his thing too. He went there. Okay. Last minute shit pulled up. Did numbers, won his battle, so ain't no worries there. Chef Trez, though, that nigga takes every battle like it's the same level shit, bro. That nigga came with three of them things, five of them mm. things. I don't even know how many of those, but Chef Trez was on his Chef Trez shit like it was any other battle. He had the bars. He had personal shit for the nigga, even though it was a local Tampa dude. Like, he battled like it was somebody that was known. So they definitely got the money's worth off of the names they had on there. Hey, man, let me ask you a question. Man, not, to to you not to cut you off, man. It's, but um, there was a clip circulating, like you was telling me. Like there was a couple of clips, but there was one in particular about this battle rapper by the name of J Two. J Two. Can you please can talk you about J Two? I am from the scale of one to three. I smacked him with a four or five. <laughs> oh, my nigga, that nigga said I had. Well, he said I had a warrant in the same state for eight years. I could have left, but I didn't want to be somewhere I wasn't wanted. <laughs> like, yo. Now, for disclaimer, for the people that keep wilding about the clips, the dude is gay. He's openly gay. People know that, but he could motherfucking rap. <laughs> that nigga went in there Saturday and was on some shit. Clearly, it went viral. So, like, the right. battle ain't even out yet. It was just, that was just people with the cameras in the crowd that put out clips of him and niggas is wilding off that already but yeah j2 he definitely a problem like that was unexpected when he was saying that shit, i was standing there like yo what the fuck but that four five one i think that was the one that one in the one ball was the two that hit the most but and he like he even flipped his name because the, dude, the dude's name was like um his real name was maurice colson and mm-hmm. he's like some shit like your father will be crying at the, at the more the more he's the more he sees Colson. Oh, like even for his real name, like I, said, I can flip a name. I should flip a name, and I'm cold one. Because when you de- when your father see you at the mall, he gonna cry. The more he see his cold son. Oh, like, yo. Uh, like it was that's, different. So he's hey, he's man, definitely somebody definitely, to look out for right now. Man, that's definitely better than um that Danny Myers uh thing I saw. Earlier this week, but I didn't oh. even watch. Wait, wait, which one? You, oh, 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 wait! Before we even got, I was about to bring up the old red shit. But you talking about the motherfucking the bar that's been going around? Yeah, the parallel the, universe, the, the dope in Oregon. Yes, hoping for a how, warrant. How many times you hope for a warrant, my nigga? And, if, and sw- swallow the dope before just just in case. You know, you know, you don't want them to illegally arrest you so you could get away with it. You want to hope you got a warrant. 
go for the warrant. Oh my god. I never I don't heard. That you don't want to admit that all of it is wrong. Like he'll say that one part of it, I I fucked up there. Like no, bro, every bar in that <laughs> yeah. made up a character. Like for, oh, he felt bad for his Morgan. Well, he felt for his Morgan. Who the fuck is Morgan? Where we get Morgan from? Like yo, out of all they, days, he just randomly picked up Morgan so it could fit the scheme that you were about to go into. Then the cocaine and the dope. Like cocaine ain't dope. Like the what what, what we. It's two different drugs. Like, yo, the whole thing was just, and you know what? I read it. Our first time and I even, read it. Yeah, the dope in the org. If you, if he swallowed it, the dope would be in the organ, not on the organ. It's not placed on top of an organ. If you swallow it, it's inside. Maybe, if, maybe, <laughs> like, maybe if you ingested the, 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 um, the dope, it fell on. It probably fell on top of uh, a on lung. the inside. Of, it fell <laughs> on, on the inside. inside of your organ. <laughs> like, nah, man, we're not doing this. Just, oh my gosh! Man, this and I and I'm a Danny fan. Like he got shit, but this was not it. Like that was like this. Out of all the bars you could pick out of one of your battles to try to highlight, bro. This was not mm -hmm. an anger situation. This was a no. That shit is not. It's not what you think it is, bro. And you know Dang. what's even crazier that there's even this is what I was saying. Like, it, it, it battle rap got to a point where really everything is opinionated because there are right. dead ass people out there that are saying that that shit makes a hundred percent sense. Oh yeah, I've, oh, I've, I've heard, I heard people tell, oh yeah, org piano and an organ is the same thing. Like, no, no it's, it's not. not. And then and then oh, but it's a parallel universe, so it's not supposed to be exactly the same. It's. <laughs> you know, listen, I ain't trying to hear that. Let it go. He's not hey, man. God, that was not what <laughs> it sure wasn't. That was pretty. That was pretty terrible. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. On another note, um, shout out to everybody that was doing the A verb challenge. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was oh my yeah. gosh. It's kind Get of you got it. Really, I, people, people have been saying that, and it's a fact. It's kind of fucked up how easily it is to imitate a verb style and make it sound exactly like him. And a lot of this shit's been fire. That's crazy. Like, yeah, like they've right been making joke bargain this trash. Like niggas been joke and style to make it haymaker. <laughs> like nah, verb got... wish he could have took that shit and used it in a battle type shit. Like that's a fact. That's a fact. I got. I got. Oh, here we go. Here's one of them. Um, let me let me do Av. Av did it. So we try to do it in my A verb. Um, <laughs> my A verb cadence. So it's showtime. Y'all still mortals. I. Y'all still mortals. Bitch, I travel. I build portals. Fuck an Uber ride. I scuba dive with real snorkel. You ain't really off the porch with wizards. I torch you niggas blink in the summer because of autumn or winter. All these men are lyrical. Lyrical is something. Lyrical side. Lyrical onslaught or lyrical torch. He always got to add in some of that shit. Like, it's always some lyrical something. But yo, them niggas nah. the mastered the A verb style, bro. Now nah, I gotta find Geechee's. Geechee's. Geechee's was hilarious. Oh, yo, so let me let me find um the first Geechee. Here we go. Um, cocky clown. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I remember ah, this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, yo, you gotta take your time saying that one. That's just not easy. That's that little. It's not, it's not. Wait, cocky clown. I'm a descendant of a Maki from Taki Town. Shot with the Tommy that Rocky found. Swam in the water that they tried to watch me drown. Copy now. Flow stitch tight like mommy gowns. Bobby Brown. Words from God. Lyrical scriptures I'm jotting down. Oh my See? God. Lyrical scriptures. <laughs> he, he got the lyrical in there. He know what's up. He gotta have hold lyrical on. in it. Hold on. Let me get the... Let me, he, he, said, he, did, he did another one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He <laughs> said... He's out too old. I called it. He said, I am God. Heavens. Angels use my cloths for measurements. This my house. I resonate. I built blocks with my bare hands. Your two stamp can't compare to the square dance. Pray your hands what? over my enemies. This is lyrical imagery. So it's showtime. <laughs> lyrical imagery, my nigga. Lyrical <laughs> imagery, bro. You gotta oh, have God. some lyrical in the mix. That's, he know he he got a verb style mastered. 
to a T. To a T, like, bro. Bird should never battle Geechee because Geechee gonna do that and win the round. I'm just off of Oh my gosh. Ah, man. This is hilarious. This is hilarious, yo. But uh, let's start the show. You know what I'm saying? Um, Big announcement. Somewhat. You know what I'm saying? What are we talking about? T-Rex versus T-Rock going down Philly on Battle Academy in November. The controversy that it's the one round. Um, you know what? I don't I don't see this needing to be three rounds. Not really thinking about it, like, I right, bet. Let me ask you a question. Did K Shine and T Rex need to be three rounds? No. There you go. I, but you that, know what? And you know what? This is a similar situation, and that shit got messed up because of all the personal you know, background shit and Rex talking about he changed his rounds because they agreed not to get personal and then Shine still got personal. So that's why it looked crazy. Like, that's the... I feel like the extras of this battle matter more than the yeah. fact that it's one round. Like, that, we don't know if they're going to get personal. Are they really just going to try to rap? Like, if, if it turns out to be like Shine and Rex, it's going to be trash. And it should be, it's going to be better that it's one round because they're going to try to get it all out at once. You're not gonna have pockets of, of what if. Yeah, because and honestly, we haven't seen Rex in in three. I mean, I didn't see the Bill Collector battle, so I don't know how good Rex was in that one. But before that, we haven't seen a crazy Rex for three. Rounds. We know he's in back in his bag. We saw a little bit of him with Snake Eyes, but I prefer to see him and, and Rock one round, especially that Rock is gonna be battling Geechee right before that. Right before that, right before that, it's like about a month span apart, you know, and not for nothing. Like you talk, he got to prepare for a Geechee that's been smoking. Now I say smoking hot for this past few battles. Like he's definitely been on his bullshit. And then right after that, he got to prepare for Rex one round. Now, don't get me wrong. I think I'm not going like, to be a prisoner of the moment. Like I felt like Rex. And a lot of people felt like Rex did his thing against Bill Collector. You feel what I'm saying? But let's not forget Rex has been on a consistent, inconsistent tear. You know what I'm saying? Like he hasn't been the Rex that we've come to love and, you know what I'm saying, and, and admire and all that, you know? So we can't just jump out the window and just give the battle to Rex. Even though he has one good showing, don't get me wrong. That's what we call a flash of greatness. Like, okay, he just had, you know, he he had like a flashback. All right, cool. But let's see what he does now versus a guy that he really don't like. Well, I don't know if he really don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But I know that they got like a little bit of attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the way they, they speak out is still to this day. It's like there's still some tension because of old Dom Mom shit. So. Yeah, that whole that like I, that's what I mean. Like, it's not we don't know if they just go in there and rap, like and trying to see who's better rapper and win the battle, or if they're taking it at a moment to let out all their personal shit, which is again is better than one round. Because if they got some retention and they're going at it for three rounds, it's more of a chance that somebody's gonna do something stupid. So it's like just say what you gotta say, let the other nigga say what he gotta say, call time and let it be what it is. Because I feel like right now. Every, like I said, everything around it is more important than the one around. Like Tay Rock, what Rex start going at him about the, the training situation? Oh, what about oh, yeah? Because like yeah, like um the guy that was in the punched. interview saying, "Don't oh nobody better not touch me." I did anybody. I did. I did. I did. When you start, when you put that energy, bro. Like somebody's mm -hmm. gonna try to do it, and who else got more of a reason to than the nigga you got personal? problems with that's a fact and, and that's you know, what you mean like right now you got Gucci. that's not personal that's just we're gonna see who's the better man when he gets to rex he'll try to push your buttons because he knows you mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. gonna try to get personal and at what point is rock gonna want to prove himself off some old shit because he don't like what rex is saying 
So like it, that's what I'm saying. Like keeping it rap and all that. Like there's a better chance of it staying good if it stays one round. And depending I, on how serious they take it, I got Rock winning. But if Rex pulls off some supernatural, I'm back in my bag. This is what I was waiting for to actually wake the fuck up type of shit. Then Rock is gonna have a hard time po- coming back up in 2020 because I got him and Gigi being highly debatable. So if he got a debatable Geechee or lose to Geechee and then right after that loses to Rex, where you go from that? Because, you know, a lot of people feel like arguably Rock has been on a decline, you know, with the good battle. It's, no, the it's not really battle, clear wins. It's, it's and, just debatable. And, you know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to before him being the URL golden child, which he kind of still is. You feel what I'm saying? But before it was the, more the, the, of every the game just tipped the opposite play. way. Like before he mm-hmm. was either having debatables and clearly winning, or it was debatables. Now is debatables or he clearly lose. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's the difference in the scale. Like you know you're either gonna get a debatable from right or he's gonna lose. Before he was either gonna get a debatable or he's gonna clearly win. Exactly. And, we and seen, uh I, I know he's gonna clearly win Tay Rock in a while. And it's crazy because it's when he started getting more active. Like when he wasn't as active and not like as in tune with the culture. Cause that's one thing about Rock, he's always there. Like he's in the crowd, he's in the mix, he's doing more than what he used to. He used to be a lot more exclusive. So mm-hmm. now is is the focus is different. Feel you feel like you don't have to do as much when the love is right in your face. You know what I'm saying? Like so but that shit'll go away quick if you start taking too many L's. Exactly, like very few people and, that can and go on a Especially when those type, you go, if you take an L to the nigga that's known as who could be the next face, because who, when you talk about next face of URL, it's only a couple names you think of, and it's Geechee and Twerk. Mm-hmm. If you think about the future faces, so if you lose to Geechee or Twerk, and that's the only other one that's left is Twerk. Yeah. So you, and you, if you have a hard time with Geechee, you definitely not running through Twerk, so... Mm-hmm. You got Rex in between that. Like these, these are not. If you're looking at the the future of your next three battles, this is not shit that you could just slack on and take three L's or have three debatables. Like that shit is not gonna look good on the record going into 2020. Exactly, and this is a different type of black. Like, like you were saying before, this is a different type of battle because Rex and Rock know each other. And mm-hmm. a lot of dirty laundry will be aired in this battle. Yeah, and how, how far know. back are they gonna try to go? Like, that's how. That's the question. I'm saying, how far are they willing to take it? You understand? Like with with, with Shine, with Shine, there was a level of respect, even though Rex was surprised that where Shine took it. Still, you know the you know the famous line, Shine, I never treated you like a hype. You understand? So there was mm-hmm. a, a little bit of a respect there, even though Shine didn't, at the time, he didn't show he didn't show it. But now they're on better terms. But you know, it's more of a respect there compared to Rex and Rock, where Rock felt betrayed from everything that happened with Mook and Rex. You know what I'm saying? So now, when you're putting this together for well, one round, that everything is on the table. You know, this last time you know, what's crazy across each other was the fucking two on two when the fight happened. That's a fact, fact. And you know, what's another thing at first, that's one thing that he automatically comes to mind that he's gonna bring up. Like, I was fighting, where was you at? Like, Mm -hmm. you know, what's even crazier? There's gonna have to be a face off. They might, I don't know if they're gonna, I I don't know how I, I hope that. I, I want to see the face off. I'll be honest with you. I do want to see a face off. You know, Jay Black, shout out to Jay Black champion. You know, um, Stiz from Battle Academy. I know you probably want to set that up. Bring the two uh, dudes there, Rex and Rock. I want to see how this goes because this is like a this is like a powder keg waiting to explode, bro. Like this is gonna be crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like Battle Academy definitely stole one. They definitely mm-hmm. stole one, and man. I never thought it was gonna happen, me personally, but you know, I guess the business was right and you know, they made it happen. I expect that. Every every couple of years we get one that that pops up on the yeah, we, we still don't care that it's on another league, it's still gonna get the same views. You know what? At this point, man, I, I everybody that has, you know, disagreements or beefs, whatever, 
I, I'm at the point where I'm not surprised now if it if it does happen. You know what I'm saying? Like we never thought that Hitman and Bill Collector would battle. Well, somewhere down the line, it probably was gonna happen, but we didn't know when. You know, <clears> but. <throat> Nowadays, anything can happen. Any battle can get set up with the right amount of money, and if the business is right, that bag right, gonna... it... bro. It, it, disaster and math about the fight for the bag. So if, if the bag is right, anything is possible. Exactly. We never you know thought we actually get to see them actually go at it because we don't want to see the rap. Nobody cares to see disaster and math rap against each other right now. That's right. But we never thought we actually see them catch a fair one, and they fighting because the bag is on the line. So. That's crazy. That's crazy. But the one the problem is, is Jones and Math because they went through all that and all the way till the battle, Jones still won to fight. And then until the battle was over and they dipped it up and ever since then everything been smooth. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a that's a story in, in itself. You know, because they had their situation and it kind of really left the a mark on battle rap for a minute and for them to actually reconcile not really reconcile but you know settle these differences on stage through battle rap that was pretty dope you know what i'm saying shout out to arp and rbe for setting that up you know making that happen you know uh i, I guess right now they're the kind of they're kind of like the home to grudge matches in a sense you know before that it was hitman and bill collector <laughs> they got the bag all it is is the bag you got the bag. Cha ching mm -hmm. if, you got, if you got the bag, you can make it happen. That's a fact. You know that's what I'm saying? I, I just that. can't really get like that's why I like I said, I'll care I'll watch the battle, but I don't really care about what league it happens on because you know you can't expect to be respected just because you popped up with a bunch of money. Like mm -hmm. it's not and you it's levels to this shit. Mm. You build from the bottom up or you Build off of other niggas shit. So at the but end of I, the day, niggas is just waiting to build off of other people's storylines and all. Because like you said, this storyline is built behind the shit. We know where that comes from. It does it, it ain't start where the battle happens at. But but um not for nothing. That's to me, that's that's a difference between a platform and a league. A league takes the time to build and develop talent as opposed to a platform that comes with money and they just happen to book the yeah, right but you know what niggas problems is is that the platforms don't want to say they platforms they, they want to say they leagues and then they oh, leave but they don't have their own fucking talent oh don't worry i'll like say it. it for you i'll say it for you you're a you're a platform you understand you're a platform you feel me so if you don't have a roster you're a platform that's it if you can't show me these guys are the core guys that I book on a constant basis where I have them on my cards, regardless if you have big names, you can book big names, sell tickets, but if you don't have a roster to show me that this is who I can book on a constant basis, basis I pay them, and these are my core guys, just a platform. And you know what it is too? Is the, is the separation with the new fans because they don't really watch up and coming leagues like we do. So we used to seeing leagues that got their own talent. Mm -hmm. Like we watch dozens of leagues that have a whole roster of their own battlers. So when those leagues go at each other, it's literally my roster versus your roster. In these other situations, it's not that. It's my roster versus. Some of my rosters, some niggas that used to be in my roster, niggas that had never made it on my roster, so now they on your roster. Like, it's, right. it's a different <laughs> level of shit. Like, but yeah, I don't know. Like, that, it, it, when it comes to that, shit, like, cool. it's cool to get the battle. The battle's still going to get the after attention, but I feel like in the building, it's rare that you see shit be lit like how Lux and, and Hollow was. Like, When's the last time you see that type of energy in a grudge match battle? Like, was Hitman Dude, and bro. Bill Collector like that? Hell no. Hell no. Rex, Rex and, I feel like... And uh, Bill Collector? This, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like to this day, Lux and Hollow is the best battle ever. It's the best battle ever. To this day. To this day. Like, I can't... I can't... I don't... I, you can't, you can't, sh I don't know if you can show me a battle that had that type of caliber of energy 
bars, build up, storyline, um, production, everything, bro. You, I don't, and anybody that joined Battle Rap after, cause that happened what, 2013, 2013, right? It was, a few, it was definitely yeah. a few years ago. I think like two, 2013, I believe. If you joined Battle Rap after that, you, I can't, I can't, you missed out. You missed out on an incredible moment, a ripple in time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could go back and watch it, but everything that was building up to that battle was incredible. Cause it was like, in wrestling terms, it was the Hulk. It was Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Bret, My Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold versus The Rock. It was that type of elect electricity. And to be honest with you, I never, I can't, I don't know if we're gonna ever have that type of Titan clash ever again. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if Hollow and Mook can bring that type of energy to the sport. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was a, a I mean, monumental maybe, battle. Maybe, maybe, depending on how, you know, is it, <laughs> it's the stage and what you brought up last time about the nostalgia stuff. Yeah. Like for us, we don't really care if Mook likes does whatever. Like, mm -hmm. right? Mook battles in a, a celebrity rapper that we never thought would battle. Like, but I don't care. I don't really care to watch a Mook battle. Yeah, everybody knows that. I'm not a really big fan of no fucking Mook bars. But if Mook and Hollow battling on a big stage, that that fan base that's still into that kind of shit, mixed in with the Hollow fan base will make it that kind of thing because that's how it was with Lux and Hollow like if you think about it there was two different fan bases Lux was more known as the underground industry guy that came from battle rap and Hollow was just starting to get popping like in that real famous sense so it was like we, we getting that kind of level shit again with them two yeah yeah in terms of status sure you know but I'm I'm with you. Like, I'm I, I like Mook early Mook. You know what I'm saying? I like early Mook. You know, uh, until yeah, sad we, ain't, we didn't really get to see in the two on two if he even adjusted anything from what we did. The little bit of the first round that we did get to see, it was same old Mook to me. Like yes. he was in a store a storyline thing, and it's like bars in, and he still didn't get to the punchline. Like, so it's like some people like all of that. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't, you can't tell me a story of filler, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know if you ever watched the Cosby show, but, um, when, when the Cosby show was, uh, was on or whatever, you know, he, he used to tell stories to his kids and when he told stories to his kids, he used to just go off on a tangent. And it used to make it like, for example, uh, uh, Theo, Theo used to be like, yo, what is wrong with you, yo? And Cockroach was like, yo, what's wrong with your pops, B? Like, he just go off on a tangent. He's like, yo, I ain't my fault, man. That's my, that's, that's, that's him. That's how they tell, that's how they rap. Mook raps like Kaz telling the story. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he just goes on a tangent and you're like, yo, my man, like, can we, can we wrap it up? What we doing? Like, you know, like the Dave Chappelle skit, wrap it up, B. Wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Get, let's get to yeah, it. That's you know, like, like this is not, if you could not rap like that in 2003 in the street with everybody having side bets of a thousand or more, like, they like, yo, what's wrong with your man? Like, yo, we got money on the line. You know what I'm saying? This is the comfort of him being on stage and being himself Murder Mook with the title. You know what I'm saying? But it's just 2019. We evolved in terms of our mindset, our mind state, and the understanding of bars. We want to hear shit. If you can't deliver that, get the F off the stage. You know what I'm saying? And I think, to be honest with you, it, he kind of like lucked out when that situation happened. Because it might have got dark. Because from what I mm -hmm. remember, Briz and T-Top kind of up. And it was like about, I would say a couple of bars in. It wasn't like like four to eight bars in. It was kind of like, in, you know, kind of about to hit their stride, quote unquote. 
So it's like, all right, cool. Where are you going? Know. And he tried to. I don't know if he was going to transit. That moment when that punch happened, yeah, that time he was not doing anything that we ain't used to. So, but long story short, ain't really many grudge matches that that happen. Got that type of star power if you ain't mixing fan bases. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much, like. What we got for the week. What, what else we have? Oh up? man. Oh man, we had to, we got to talk about this surf tournament. For folks yeah. who missed it, man, Sue Surf announced that. Well, let me break down the timeline because this is it's a little bit dicey here. So the first announced first thing, Sue Surf announced a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Because he was actually going back and forth with Swamp, and out of nowhere, he just said, "Yo, you know what? I'm gonna set up a tournament with all these new dudes." So he went on Twitter and started asking about new dudes who should, you know, be a part of this tournament. He got some names and he set up a tournament, right? Even John John said, "Quote unquote, I will join," and that was actually just a troll. And he said, fuck out of here. What you think? I'm going to join a new dude tournament? Please. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that. Now there's a now there's a tournament, right? <coughs> Prize is set to be $5,000 and a battle with Surf. Then come to find out that he was saying that, oh, no, 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 no. Not a battle. No, the prize is not me or a battle with me. No. You know what I'm saying? It's a battle with a name. And now the URL will be involved in this tournament. And I don't know what's going on after that, to be honest with you. I guess, I guess we'll see We'll see more news on it as the talk gets back in action. Like I was saying earlier, like they're not really talking anymore like they was when they first were setting it up. But I spoke to Cuban over the weekend, and he feels like it's a good thing. I guess it pretty much is going to be a push for a lot of these new guys. What, what, what me and you was talking about when I said nobody cares. Like, no, it doesn't matter what they do to to get their names up. Like, if if a big name, honestly, if a name like Surf don't get behind them, nobody cares. The only reason all these yeah. names is, is being in all these conversations is because Surf started talking about all of them. That's it a is fact. a fact that everyone that he's talking about is getting more attention now. And they haven't even been in the tournament yet. Mm -hmm. So as as far as that side, I think it's dope. The, I think the the negative part of of it that, that everyone's looking at is just having all these up for uh, you know like, like I say like Mortal Kombat style. You got shout on the top of this shit, and everybody <laughs> under it gotta face each other until you get to the top boss, and then whoever gets they gets a chance. But this nigga is not easy to beat, so you might do all of that just to lose to him anyway. So. Is is that kind of situation? It's like it, it's it depends who you are and what you're doing it for. Some guys don't mind just doing a tournament real quick and seeing if, if it gives them a boost. Other guys would rather just build it organically and do what they're gonna do on their own. And it's always been like that though. It's like this the low so and a ward type of thing with with the PGs and it, it, certain people feel they on certain levels. Some guys feel they on a higher level than a tournament. Like some dudes took it real personal. You see how Jaden Nightwing took it? He was on, on yeah. to the, in a quick bro, like, don't, 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 don't little nigga me. Like <laughs> was, he was on some real shit. And I believe him. Them Samoan niggas yeah. ain't no joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't no joke. But I was like, everybody not, feels a different way about it. Like I, Cuban with me and Cuban was arguing <laughs> on Twitter about this shit. He was getting mad. And that's why when I seen him on Saturday, I was like, yeah, we gotta talk about this shit. Because unlike a lot of niggas in this culture, we actually be face-to-face -face with these niggas. We don't That's just be fact. talking shit on Twitter and then not actually say it when we see them. I just, I just had to add that disclaimer in there because people's always wondering, oh, what's all that? Oh, you got to be at event shit. It's shit like this, especially if you're going to be an outspoken person like me and just mm -hmm. tell your opinion on something, you got to be behind your word when you actually see these people. So... It's just, it's just a good habit to have if you're going to be letting your opinion out there and know that eventually you're going to have to stand Depend. behind your word. But yeah, I told him how I felt about it. Like for, for me, it's like everyone that was promoting our woman on that tournament felt like they was going to win. So I mean, if all of you are going to win, who's going to lose? <laughs> you know, 
It's like certain niggas don't know. I'm like, see, that's the difference though. You know, you know what you feel like you want, but every nigga feel that way. Not every nigga got a nigga in the corner and tell him, yo, bro, fall back. You're really not that. Like, mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a lot of people getting pushes just because they got friends. Like, we saw that. We saw people just getting hit up. Like, yeah, we you know, put my mans on tag, tag, tag. And that's easy in battle rap because you just got to network and be in Facebook groups. And if enough people know you, they're going to tag your name. But at the end of the day, you got to show and prove. And when you get into a tournament where you got to rap, you can have 16 people, right? So you got to rap at least four times before you get to the final round. I like that. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? It kind of it kind of goes back to the earlier, I would say, the earlier um, productions and the earlier platforms like Fight Club um, and, and some of the, like, like um, Oh man, I'm, I'm I lost my train of thought just now. But like the tournaments, oh man, the, there was Fight Club and even the other one, Sirius Jones Battle Jin. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I think it was Powerhouse. You know those type of tournaments where you really had to prove that you was nice. You know what I'm saying? Battling four dudes in one night just to you know I me mean, just to prove that I'm nice and get the prize money at the end of the night. You know, these dudes don't know about that in 2019. A lot of dudes don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? How it was back in the day. So even though it, I'm showing my age or whatever, but it shows me that all right, this dude is actually dope at what he does in terms of being an MC, in terms of battle. Because now... But, not, you know, that's thing, though. Like, you got to think about this generation. When's the last time you've seen any of these dudes be able to have four rounds? Because... I, that's one thing I never heard clear. Is it three rounders or one rounder? I'm gonna go one rounder. Mm -hmm. If it's three rounders, forget about it. But I'm gonna go with one rounder. So let's say the guy that, that gets to the final round of it got to rap four times, one round, and you don't know who you're facing each time. And they say that the whole tournament is gonna be done within a week. So if, mm -hmm. it, if it's all done within the space of one week, how 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 many of them do you think got it in them to have four rounds set up for four? people when a lot of oh, people taking a long time to to just prep for a regular battle it's very I, I see, i'm hyped about people like cuban because i didn't do it i think cuban yeah. showed to an event and right that day and by that night could win that for him to say mm. it feels like in a week he could rate for four different people in one rounders i believe it but there's a lot of people i've seen get told like yo you got three weeks before your next battle and they like nah i need more time than that so it's all depending on the person. And you like Don Marino that could freestyle about shit in the room and not fuck up. So that's a different type of animal. But that excited in today's that man. Like our fans think it's corny. They're not going direct at each other for the entire battles. Cause it's kinda impossible to do that four times. Like you you're gonna have generic shit in there, little direct shots here and there, but the majority of your round is gonna be generic bars that could go to anybody. It is like if you think about it, like we really think about it, bro. The last time we seen something like this, now, now my um uh, my, my wheels is turning. Was the UFF? UFF yeah. was roughly what five years ago. That's crazy how the the climate of battle the climate of battle rap changed within five years. This is the the last UFF had chess prep, um T top Grizz, um I know I'm missing other XL. Other dudes as well. Saga was in there. Chess, yeah, chess, man. And you, you see where they are right now. You feel what I'm saying? But just to tell, just to show, when the UFF was going on, there wasn't a lot of direct bars toward each other. You know what I'm saying? If they were, mm -hmm. but they had time to prepare though. They did because it would be like one yeah, week. Then again, you think again. Like you said, that was how many years? But today is like the shift has been crazy over like the past two years. Of what fans mm -hmm. is willing to sit and listen through before they start talking shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got that. That's the difference. It's like now the the people that you're doing this for, like the 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 fan base that's in the demographic of what battle is fan base is now. I guess because the shit is different. Like we like we're not the same type of people as we've been into the culture now. So there's shit they not even want to listen to because it's whatever bars. Like they want to see aggressive oh i don't like this type of shit and if it's not gonna be that for a whole, whole tournament 
if, and I'm, back then you it was and it's like and it's true what you say you look at them guys back then it's it's literally a mirror image and now like none of them it look like they would be who they are right now mm-hmm but it's so crazy going but through that all still, over again so you about how accepted it is when it happened and I you already know. see a lot of the people don't like the idea of it alone because, because we're in the complaint culture these niggas complain about every god bro Ooh. i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i remember being there with um when saga battled when saga battled t-top and that was so fire to me because nobody really took the approach that t-top took in terms of attacking saga's belief and that was so fire you know what I'm saying? I think it could work in a sense for today's climate, but it has to be done in it has to be done in a certain way. Like I can't really see this tournament being on a stage. It gotta be in like a pitch style or it's a lot of unknowns of it too, because all of it's gonna be recorded. That's a lot of like what are they gonna uh, is this gonna actually be something that drops all at once or is it gonna be another situation where we go see it over a long amount of time? Cause like if, um, if it's that, then it's gonna admit, again. People are really not gonna like that idea of having to wait to find out. So it got to be some shit that when it's done, it's dropped. But you got this whole schedule of battles that's still coming out in the meantime before this shit even happens. And from the looks of it, it's not even gonna be this year that the tournament goes down because there's too many events from now mm. till December. That's a fact, and it's supposed to be it's a, literally, and it's, and, it's, and, 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 and it's supposed to be an event in December too, right? Yeah, the anniversary shit gotta happen for you up. That's a fact. So think That's about it. And, and, and I bet you another volume car happens before the year. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. no tournament happened this year. So tournament 2020. Tournament 2020. If, it, if it's pushed properly and, and all of that, and it's supposed to be dry, I think it'll be done. It's going to be a quick way to push a lot of new talent at the same time. Maybe, maybe it'll under pressure that... You know, fans is getting tired of seeing the same old shit. And the only way you can really change how it is is to have a whole class. Like what happened with T-Top and Briz and Chess and all of them. Like it was a class that came through. It wasn't just one. Like nowadays, it's one shining star at a time. You get a twerk, then you get Geechee. You don't get Geechee, twerk, and a whole slew of niggas that's all in the same type of level. And so also, that, the only way you're going to do that is to probably promote them. Because nowadays anything can be done right if it's marketed like so that all they gotta do is promote a nice group of niggas that's all star and not for nothing the, a lot of these new guys are stars they just haven't been pushed the right way because and you also the, gotta the, the market is always the same you know people still like that old shit regardless there's one thing that battle rap be stuck on is the same thing that happened with the vets no matter how much new faces you push as long as you put a big name on the card they still with it and not to cut you off you know what I'm saying? Remember, UFF was on BET. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was on BET and it was on YouTube. That was probably the last, the last, last thing that was simulcasted on the internet and on network TV. You know what I'm saying? You so think about it. BET got, got exposure that today really don't mean shit. Like exactly. if you, I, I don't know nobody outside of the regular batch. Like if you, I, if you would think saying his TV, now you're dealing with a whole different type of fan base, right? So I should be able to go to my sister that watches BET and be like, "Yo, you seen that battle rap shit? Yeah, that's the shit I be talking about." Today she don't remember about no battle rap ever being on BET, and she watched BET when it was lit. So it's like now you gotta, it's a, it's a different generation of shit, like. It, it, it's such a short term, like what they call it, short term memory. Like niggas mm -hmm. not thinking that far back. You only gonna they, hear you. You only care about what happened last week, not what happened five years ago. Yeah. So how can this be properly pushed? Like, what would be a dope platform to have this tournament on? Because I don't if really they, see they it they being on BT anymore. Right now, it, it, to, to start with, with the with the up-and-coming names, it's not going to TV shit. Like, it's not... The names aren't marketable enough to throw that on TV. Like, you're mm. not working with, with... Like I said, when I was telling you about the Benji Lolo situation, he's been on World Star multiple times. But tracks people, and it's like, he's still an up-and-coming PG that nobody really knows. 
And it'd be crazy because people remember that moment they saw World Star, but don't know it was Benji Lolo. That's a lot. That's a case with a lot of moments on World Star. Like, for example, shout out to Flip the Guard and um the Invitational. But when he took off his shirt, you feel me? And they and they threw that clip on on World Star. You know, a lot of people didn't know that was Flip the Guard. They his name was not, not even yeah, in the title. Was, exactly. They just say battle that, that's rap. That's the thing is like when you when you dealing with a fan base that's not battle rap, like they don't that they don't even it, like treat it like battle rap is a thing. It's like that's just the title of it. Battle rapper does da da da, but it doesn't attract people to be like, oh, battle rap is is actually out there. Like, yo, let me go look into that. Niggas literally just watch the clip of a nigga taking his shirt off and then move on with their day. Like they're not, mm -hmm. it's, not it's it's not attracting that fan base back to battle rap. And it's, yeah, like, it's not, like the same situation happened with the Russian. Everybody was was battling on. Oh yeah, after this, you're gonna see the numbers blow up to the millions because their battles be getting 16, 17 million in a day. Bro, nothing happened. People gotta understand that battle rap is a niche sport like niggas is not just hearing about battle rap and wanting to see what it is and you you really gotta love this shit to be in it because it's not like the happiest go lucky type of sport like people are literally walk into a room you never seen battle rap before and, and first thing you hear is niggas going at each other about how bad i'm gonna kill you <laughs> like, so Back, like, a person that's never been around battle rap <laughs> That mentality is weird. Like, yo, what what are they talking? Are they really gonna shoot at each other? No, bro, that's just the lyrical warfare. This is what we do. Lyrical onslaught. But, uh, <laughs> verb boy. Shout out the verb. Shout out the verb, man. But I always bring that shit up though with the outside people. Cause I say I got mad people in my family. They all know I'm involved in battle rap. They all know I work in battle rap. They they bring it up to me as that shit that's on MTV while and out. <laughs> when Wild they were like, oh, you got, oh, you, you about to go to one of your events? Things like, nah, that's not battle rap, bro. <laughs> like, that's Yo, not, it's not what you think it is. Like, if you, and if you're going into battle rap with the mindset that it's wilding out, like, now you bugging out, like, yo, I didn't expect it to be this violent. Like, it's actually, we're not even looking at the violent part. We're just trying to see how dope niggas is going to say the shit. That's really what it is, what it comes down to. Like, we like battle rap because we just like the way the battlers create. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what, what are they going to say next? Like, what type of approach you're going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are they going to create whatever they're going to create? Like, the type of um, wordplay, wor metaphors, similes, things that you don't really get in today's hip hop. That's the reason why a lot of us listen to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? For that level of lyricism. You know what I'm saying? But... Man, people really it's need to get that in their head, bro. Like it's not, not, it's not easy. Out the cannon. But people be thinking that it's gonna be an easy thing to flip, like battle rap, or what can we do to expand the culture? Like you gotta understand, there's really li a very limited amount of shit we could do that wouldn't compromise what battle rap is. Like you can't put battle rap on TV because PG or P. You can't do PG thirteen. You gotta rate all this shit. Like you, so it's not like you could just. Take what we doing and then tone it down just so you could put it because then it's not better running. Nah, so it's um over into revenue because you don't want to compromise what the sport is. And that alone makes it hard to sell because we do have everything that's essential to hood life, all the way down to the fights. <laughs> like the, the, down it's, to the it's, fight, it's a dude. it's a known thing now that you deal with a battle rap event, there's a chance that some shit might happen. That's crazy. Actual fights and is, but at the end of the day, like that shit happens at regular rap shows like that fights and all that break out and all that extra shit. But I feel like a magnifying glass is put on it when it's battle rap. Because it's like I told you so kind of situation. Like I told you not to fuck with those battle rap niggas. They're only bringing this trouble into your shit. Like, bro, this, I'm pretty sure the same shit happens to any rappers in the building. It's safer. It's safer at a battle rap event. Like if you really think about it, like I bet if you compare, like a hip hop event, or depending on who the artist is, and then a battle rap event, it's way safer. You understand? Like I don't even want to talk about you know the negativity that has happened in a lot of past hip hop shows, but you know when things 
got ugly. Things get ugly. People get shot in the venue. People, you know, turn into brawls in the crowd. Like, it's gotten nasty. Yo. Who that? My man, my man, my man, Terra. Terra. Yo, yeah, yeah. I, I got a, I got a boo y'all real quick, man. Y'all, y'all talking about <laughs> it's limited things we could do. It's mad shit we could do. Battle rap but, is what, not working what, at all, bro. Like we, yeah, it's we, not we organized, need organized. What can we do to keep it w without that, losing that, what battle rap is? That, but that's what I'm saying. That's a start right there. Like these, we need to get this battle rap shit in order, bro. Like, like to to say like you know the profanity and the negativity. Like nah, bro. Like we niggas, niggas are selling out comedy shows, and like like look at Kevin Hart. He sold out comedy shows. Like one of his biggest shows. Or he he had a whole thing about his um dad and his dick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's talking about his dad's dick through half the comedy show, and people love that shit. You feel me? Like, like it, it's, well, I guess it's I, mad I feel like it's, it's, it, people judge it different just because what it is. Like, when it's battle rap shit, like, it's a... It's just, nah, but... but it was, no, no, bro. Was, but listen, they look but at us different. I, not, of course they're going to look at us different, because if you go to a Kevin Hart comedy show, right, and I should say it's going to start at 1 o'clock, and you show up at 2.30, you done miss mm -hmm. half the show, right? Like, like, so yeah, I, I wasn't like, gonna bring that up. Next. That's <laughs> like, you, like, we can't like even if, get shit started on time. Yeah, right? like that's that's a big problem for us. Like, if you tell the fans, oh, you know, we're gonna open the doors at one o'clock, and the doors open at two, the show starts at four. Like, what? Where else is that happening, bro? bro that shit. That, nah, and that's a, like, it's, like, it's an all around battle rap. Cause I, I said I, I did an event on Saturday, and the shit said doors open at two. I was there at one thirty. The event didn't start to four thirty, bro. Like, listen, th like we, like everybody, I'm sure everybody on the line has been through that. Like you know, we've all been through that, and it's not even a, it's not even an individual league thing. It's not a smack. Thing. It's, it's a whole, yeah, a it's a battle rap thing. thing. This shit is everywhere. Like, like y'all, you know, y'all know I get around a lot. Like I travel a lot of places. Like I have yet to be somewhere, and they're like, oh and yeah, we starting start, right yeah. now. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, like everywhere I go is late. Like everywhere. That shit is That's sad. Like, like we we gotta it's, we gotta do better as a culture, bro. Like you you want you want things to be bigger. Like we gotta you know we gotta have more control of what we doing. Like you know like I, there's uncontrollable shit that happens. You know like with these dudes fighting and all that shit. Like you know like they gotta grow up and yeah, but you you know, know I, but I, I feel like shit, money, nothing, money has to be being put. money has to be managed a little better in in this whole situation because it's like I. If you go to work every day, right, and you show up an hour late to work every day, is your check the same at the end of the week? No, no it's not. Nigga, like you missing some yeah, bread. We spoke, like so, we, we, we was talking so about it, that last time. I know there's no repercussions for nothing. Like yeah, like that's a fact. They like, just so get like, their bag, if, do their event, and they like they had that. If I'm the if I'm the league owner, right? If I'm the league owner, and I tell you, listen, because like I feel like I feel like one of the things that made battle rap special for me is me being able to show up to an event like this early in the game i show up to an event and i'm able to really interact with people that i was watching on you know on youtube i'm mm -hmm. watching them on youtube i'm like i'm able to walk in the building oh shit look b magic standing right here tay rock standing right here oh shit is that so surf like but now it's like you know like these dudes are you know like they they feel like they want to make the that. grand like, entrance you, know, you still got you yeah, still want to make a grand entrance that show up early and they fucking with the crowd and i feel like it should be more of that like if i'm paying you x amount of money to come and put on the show that should be involved in that like you interacting with these fans or whatever like not you know oh them it, catching it, you outside it, it, it goes to what you said like a lot of these niggas have complained about being asked to interact like i've seen niggas be like, oh they try to put in my contract that i gotta promote and and get on these um radio shows and i gotta chop it up with fans before the battles like i'm i'm not with all that like Bro, like, what level no, of life no, you think no, you at that you yeah, can't? That's make what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. like that's that's how you that's how you grow a culture, though. You feel me? Like, you grow, like you know, you gain fans like that, bro. Like, follow at every event with the fan. Yeah, and, but niggas will look at a nigga like Hollow and not still do that shit to to network and and mix with his fan base and still make sure that the people rock with him. Why wouldn't I do that? Nah, that they, they, you, you got the opposite end of the spectrum with the oh nah, I gotta make the grand entrance. People gonna be in the middle of a battle when I'm gonna walk look, in and look, the crowd gonna go crazy. But look, look, minutes, look, peep, peep this though, like, like it ain't even only the the big names or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, look at right. the look at the look at the look at the newer artists. Let me let me tell you one of the mistakes they make, like, cause you know you know me and well all three of us matter of fact me you and Dutch we all be at a lot of shit where we got you know 
we got dudes on the come up, bro. Yeah. Like we'll be we'll be at an event, right? With dudes on the come up. They not they not networking at all, right? They're mm -hmm. not networking at all. So now it's time for them to battle and they're standing there by themselves. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> Cause they like they not net why why wouldn't you like you know you you in the city, this not your city or whatever. Why wouldn't you network? Why wouldn't you talk to people? Maybe you get a few people to stand behind you while you up there trying to get busy, like but that's instead, you know, like, like they sit, they sitting in a corner somewhere. Oh, now it's time to battle. Nobody's that nigga Cuban was just did a perfect trash. example of that shit. My nigga Cuban Cuban battled on that card on Saturday. And he was hiding out in the corner. He was mixing with the people when the other battles was happening. He was on the stage, not even like on some hosting. He was behind one of the battles. Like he would pick a side and just stand there and watch oh, the battle. Like, like, like when, you, when, when he went to when, battle, when he wasn't on stage by himself, but he came. That's what I'm saying. When this is not himself. your area, man, you gotta get you gotta get right with the people, bro. Like that shit don't yeah. make no sense. Like you don't say you're not saying under nobody. You you standing around. You you know you're not even you, like like you know you by yourself. You won't even go stand and watch another battle. You just gonna stand to the side and wait till it's your turn. Yeah, the and now girl, nobody the behind you. Different. Now your shit look trash, and then you mm -hmm. mad at the person that booked the battle. Like yo, they ain't fucking with me. Niggas don't know you. That's right. <laughs> you got to so be telling it. niggas really get gas about that when when they become stars at home and never talk nowhere else, bro. They really believe that what they do at home is gonna happen everywhere they go. Like, bro, you about to have a war awake if you go anywhere that's outside of where you live at. Because niggas that don't know you is not trying to give you love for no reason. Like, it's just a is, and it's, you it's, gotta it's, earn that shit. It, is, it goes back to what type of people they are. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being sociable. You know, you're trying to gain fans. You got to be sociable. You got to network. You got to talk to people. You got to touch the people. You know, you can't just... Even us as, as scouts and media people, like, that's what we got to do. Like, a lot of this, the, the relationships I got in Florida now is because I went to events in, like, who's the league owner? Who runs this? Who runs that? And that's who I was chopping it up with. To the point now, I could go to anything that's battle rap related anywhere in Florida and people know who I am. And I don't battle rap. I just do that because of the networking point of... I'm a scout and I like to know who got the next, you know, big names going on out here. So I'm gonna make sure I'm in tune. Now, other people be claiming they into the same kind of shit and won't even chop it up at events. They go to events and stand on their phone. They'll tweet the whole event out and, and not even chop it up with nobody there. And that's whack. That's completely whack. You know what I'm saying? Like these are people that I feel like we're all like-minded. You know what I'm saying? We all want to see the culture grow. We all want to see these guys get to the next level. So, you know what I'm saying? Why not talk to each other? You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm going to shit on you. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like that. Like, most of the people that I've met at these battle rap events are wild humble, wild cool. You know what I'm saying? And it, usually there's going to be liquor flowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just drinking, having a good time. Yeah, that shit's on like, Bob. Everybody, like, everybody like, that's in the battle rap shit know that shit's always on Bob. I understand that. I never, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and a lot of these guys wonder why their fan base is so small. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, delusional movement, bro. Like, you have to, like, pretty clear why, why your shit not buzzing like that. Exactly. When you, you, you go to, you go to, you go to a battle rap event to rap and get your check and go home. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's weak. When you could build up your fan base, you know what I mean? So that way, next time you get there, you know, everybody know who you are. They fucking with you. Like, yo, this dude from last time. You know what I'm saying? Like, he showed us mad love. You know what I'm saying? And and the love will be reciprocated. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and that's another thing with the, a lot of these guys from the top tier to the, to the um the grassroots. You know, like I'm telling you, saying like you gotta you gotta touch the people. You really gotta touch the people. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Dutch, 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 stop trying to touch the people, man. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Not it, it's crazy. <laughs> he said it with a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you do, man. To touch touch the oh city, man, touch the people. Well, you really got to touch the people. Nah, man, cause you, you know, like we go to a lot of these events, especially URL events, and um, these guys been standing around, joining the line from like nine, not nine, like eight o'clock in the morning. You know, event starts at quote unquote post start at one o'clock, two o'clock. These guys been outside since eight o'clock in the morning. You know what make that day because I would be annoyed as a person setting up events. Then we be there. Events start at two. We be there at 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Get all that shit set up. Now we standing around for three, four hours before we even shoot the first battle. Like whoa. 
Nigga, well, you remember about that, um, what, what was that, um, Van Legacy 3, yeah, day one? Van Legacy 3 shit, like, bro, that shit was, and then you got a shit we deal with in Battle Rap, them type of venue, fucking boxed in basement kind of shit. Yo. Like, what, 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 bright hot lights on, no Man. air except for a loud ass fan, you got to shut off every time the battle start. Yup. Nick, Nick is, is is rapping at the top of their lungs. So you got to think, think about how you ever felt if you was in the summertime and you was yelling at somebody. I know um, I, I felt, like to yell at I people. I felt fine. Like it was a great night for me, but I know the rest of the world was struggling in this. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I ain't going to lie, son. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen. Yo, Chava is the coolest dude on earth, man. He was in there and he was the only dude that was not sweating. The floor, the floor was sweating. But Chava yeah. was cool as a cucumber, man. I'm telling you, I was not about that life. I kept leaving after every battle. Man, I was dying in this. I ain't going. <laughs> that's the fact that, that, that do all go to point Terry said uh, of you know having real structure to this shit. Like we can't even get venues on time. Well, we get the venues. I mean, we can't get people into the venues on time. And battle started, and, and then bro, we can't, like, really can't like get like, it's, venues it's, that it's, honestly, bro. Honestly, at this point, in. at this point, right? It's everybody as a whole, right? It's not just like like initially, right? It was just like the leagues were, you know, they not they not you know in a rush to get this going on. So the leagues and like the leagues is starting late. So now the battlers are like, all right, well they ain't gonna start on time. I ain't gonna show up on time. Now the fans are like, well the battlers ain't getting there on time. Why should I get there early? You know what I mean? So it's like now now everybody's in danger of you know of this dumb shit. So it's like now that that one initial day when they decide, yo, the doors open at one and the event's gonna start at one thirty, and that shit fucking happens. You're gonna have fans in the uproar. Oh, they never start on time. <laughs> like, like I want my money back. Like, you know, I showed yeah, up at four like, o'clock because that's when it usually starts. Like, yo, that is really like <laughs> battle rap. That's exactly what you deal with. You fuck around and fix everything, and niggas be like, what? They fixed like, it. Well, yeah. What do you Why mean they would start you do on that? time? Niggas didn't what start on time for ten years. Like now you're gonna start on time. Like, but yep. But that, like, oh, I've been getting my battles for free for ten years. Pay for it now. Like, it's like expect- it's like you know, like like I I'm gonna I'm be honest, right? You see how, like the, one of the things I liked about the way we were doing like the band events in VA and all of that shit. It's like you know, you got like the PGs and the people that are fans of the PGs. Well, you know, hover around for them PG, um, for the PG battles, and then when the big battles go on, like you know, they like it's like that's like um, it's kind of like structured, like how when you go to see a real concert, like you know what I mean, like not to say battle rap is not a real performance, but like I mean, like when you go to see these recording artists or whatever. So when you go see Chris Brown, right, and the show starts at two o'clock, you don't see Chris Brown at two o'clock, but there is mm-hmm. a show going on. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. it's like. It's like a lot. So but a lot of these big, the battle are so used to watching events. them just set shit up. Yeah, so like look, you see like a lot of these big events, right? If you if you were if you were if let's say like you know let's go to like with a with a summer madness, right? Like a summer madness, everybody feels like like you know these are guys that we consider that they could headline other cars on a regular basis, you know, all over the place. They, they any of these guys may be able to headline a car, but now it's summer madness. So right, so like somebody's not the headliner somebody has to go first and shit like that so mm-hmm. now how do you convince that you know these guys that feel like they're stars to be the first nigga you know what i mean like like mm-hmm. so I, I feel like i feel like every event should have some kind of opening act you know what i mean like even yeah. if it's a pg you know you're trying to prove yourself like the, the core fans that watch pgs will be there for you and the people that's coming to see the stars, yeah. and they, they're going to come and see the stars. You know, maybe they'll get there early and see you doing your thing. Maybe they won't. But, like, we got to we gotta figure out yet. some, it, it some kind of way to, to you know. To, yeah, like, because, like, literally, we be struggling, bro. And I feel, I feel like it's, it's just, like, I'm always comparing this shit to wrestling, but it really, I feel like it's like the same shit where, when everybody got off of wrestling because it wasn't like the attitude ever shit no more. But it, it's wrestling, so it's still getting watched. Like, niggas ain't got no choice to, to watch nothing else because that's all there is. So that's how the URL shit, like, even though the shit ain't been fixed in forever, niggas still going to watch because there's nothing else. 
Yeah. So as much complaining nah, that's happening, like, them niggas still but, go but back up to every event and buy every pay per view. So I don't feel the, like but, URL has felt the it problem. to the point where they feel like they got to change. No, nah, no. Nah, let me tell you what the problem is, though, bro. Like the problem is gonna be when when somebody is really focused enough to to stick their hands in our in our culture, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean? Like somebody. And I'm not saying like you know like. Because a lot of people will say, oh, you know, the white man going to come and take over. Yeah, I'm, not ba- I'm, not, like, I'm not basing it on that. I'm saying, I'm not like, because I, I, I'm like, for me, battle rap don't got shit to do with color. Like, I'm mm-hmm. saying somebody that is not involved in the culture is going to learn how to do this shit properly. And they're going to make money off of our shit just the same way they did with hip hop. Remember mm-hmm. niggas in the, niggas in the, um, in the, in the early 80s and shit, they wasn't making no money fucking rapping. Niggas was rapping mm-hmm. and, and going to work. Niggas had jobs mm-hmm. and all that shit, and they was being rappers, right? So, but now niggas is multi millionaires off of rap, bro. Like, and I feel like somebody gonna take this fucking battle rap shit and do it properly. Like most other people, like people that are not really in the battle culture, they took took their attempts to make a battle event, and the shit kind of came off corny. Like it's gonna take that one more. Like right that now, that um, that the venue that we do the the smack volume cards at, yeah. The, the owner of that venue has a league now and he do his own events. That's where the Geechee Gotti and Don Marino battles. Wow. So you got to think, now this nigga is a millionaire. He got the bag. He don't care if he take losses when he do this shit. He's but done that's events the thing, before though. and took L's it's, and he, it's he, gonna, he it's, a bigger but, card. It's, all it's going to take is somebody smart. It's, it's, it's somebody with the, with the funds and they're smart enough to get somebody smart enough you know, to get somebody to, to that really it, knows yeah, the culture, know how to run it, yeah, like, know how yeah, to run like then, then I feel that like that person a lot is of these, definitely not a battle rap person. Like, yeah, not, a lot of these, a lot of these leagues are going to be in danger. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you know, Smack might not be in danger initially, but I feel like down the line, it's going to take away from what you know what we consider greatness, bro. Like, and yeah, it's like, it'll, it's like, 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 it'll, like it'll, the it'll, corporate gets into it, they go. yeah, it's going to ultimately be good for the culture. And then it's gonna be where we at right now, like <laughs> mm-hmm. in hip hop. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you know, like we don't. When the last time you, you, I'm like, yo, I need to get this album. <laughs> but but in the nineties, we, we on that click and, and go shit. Right? Yeah, yeah but in, in in the nineties, oh, nigga, you remember? On. Yo, I gotta I gotta get this album. I gotta get this album. Yeah, I gotta get down for mad years. For mad years in a row. I was like, that that earlier about how the fight to go. Get all a bunch of CDs, a bunch of CDs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Everybody CD now. So, I don't have not one. I don't even know what a CD is. And, like. and so, so, but this is what I'm telling you. So, somebody gonna somebody gonna figure out a way to do this shit, and they gonna really fuck it up for what we know for, for what we know it as. So before it was, yo, I gotta see this event. I gotta see this event. Like somebody probably gonna do some dumb shit and be, you know, gonna have two battles, and that's the event. And you know, like, you know, it's, it's gonna be some shit that is gonna water down our shit totally. Because we never wanted to step up and do it properly. Yo, Terra, not for nothing, I like the structure of RBE. You know what I'm saying? Like, in terms of the pacing of the battles, how it goes. For not, yeah, because, like, if you really think about it, like, RBE, when you say, when they say doors open at one or battles start at one, they really mean battles start at one. Nah, like, listen, bro, like, like I, I salute them on, you know, like, how they handle their shit. But at the same time, they still go through the same struggles as a lot of the other battle events just 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 not based on the way they running their shit but like you know you still got these artists that want to show up when they want to show up like <laughs> like that mm-hmm. like that, that, that shit is like crazy to me like you know like these individuals are paying you whether it be arp or smack or organic or whoever yeah. else even, like, even in those you know, situations they've said that they've had to switch battles because the person that was supposed to battle at that time wasn't there yet so it's like it, it's, they they might start on time, but the the order of what they was gonna do their battles in don't happen even because people still show up when they feel like. It. Yeah, and and a lot of times like you know like people people go into planning like you know when they putting their cards together they want shit to go a certain way. Like it's gotten to, like I've I've seen this happen to a lot of you know like a lot of a lot of league owners like you know like they they're to the point where they don't even plan shit out anymore. It's just like oh you know whoever's here that's who's gonna battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, it shouldn't be that got, way. I should. I should like be able to got, say who we got that's a, that's a matchup. Like what yeah, two guys are that, here that's on the that's on the flyer that that's already here. I bet they go. And then and and sadly, that's, that, that that's kind the of the norm, sadly. Because I've seen niggas be at an event early and then niggas like hear the league owner be like, "Yo, what two people are here?" And they know their opponent is in the room and them niggas will leave. Yeah, like, they don't I, I don't want to go first. Yep, exactly. So I'm like, oh, I'm 
wow, I first. So it's like that shit fucked up a lot of shit because then it, the people that's not all there on time, instead of it going in order, now you got pressure on other niggas that don't want to go first. So now they leave. So now you definitely still not starting on time. It's just, it, it all yeah, goes back bro. to the same shit. Like niggas is still losing time over not having everybody there at once. Yeah, we got a lot of struggles yeah, over here in, this, in, this, in the time. sports. Niggas oh, just like, yo, if, event starts at two, but it really don't start till six, and niggas to be there on time. Let me ask y'all a question though. Like, what was what was the show initially about though? Like, I kind of came on a little late. Yeah, we, now, we wanted to do all the main topics and shit that was happening during. I think the last I heard one that, we heard that. got at was the search. Nah, I heard y'all um, talking about the search. Yeah, I heard y'all talking about the search joint. Yeah, like, which, yeah, yeah. Y'all not feeling that though? Like, oh, y'all just feel yeah. like the fans not feeling it. I, I feel like it, it's gonna be a little bit of it's both like I, I gave both sides of it. I can see why people fuck with it and I can see why people don't. Like the final idea is that like the top five guys is all gonna get a push, it's not just for the main nigga. So it's like if if multiple new guys is getting a push at the same time, then it's dope. Forget the prize money. Like it's dope that they all just gonna get promotions to a point where people are looking at them now. Cause what nah, a lot fine. of the new guys got an uh, issue now with is is getting their name out there. Well, like it's like, crazy the quickest a lot way to get your name out there is getting tweeted by surf like all these niggas is getting talked about because surf tweeted at them and the tournament ain't even happened yet i'm saying well you know you know the man does have the number three book in the country and all that so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, mean, like, I can see it and then i can say I, I see you see the other battle rapper and it's, it's all them in the mentality of battle rap. some guys feel above tournament like i'm i rather organically earn the top and other niggas feel like Yo, tournament is easy money. I'm going to go in the tournament, watch all these niggas, and, and get to surf or whatever big name I get, and the fans going to love me from there. So I ain't going to hold y'all, though. Like, I, I, like, I've heard a few names, like, thrown around in the tournament. Yeah, I got any favorites, stuff? Like, because I got a favorite. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I ain't, ain't going to hold you, son. Like, Mac Myron, I, I heard his name pop up in the tournament, and I was like, God damn. God damn, Mac Myron. Yeah, I gotta dope. see all the names. I ain't hear all the names that they put. Nah, I, I ain't hear all the names either. But even even without hearing all the names, I still got a couple of favorites though. Look, like the, my, my my first favorite, I'm going I'm going with my boy Drugs because I oh, see yeah, this nigga drug, like I yeah. see this nigga like right right raps on the way to the yeah. place and then <laughs> that's what I was saying about, about <laughs> and, Cuban and, shit like and Cuban dog and like... dog a nigga. But yeah. also also like I heard they they talking about putting John John in the tournament. Now, like that, that's a very dangerous thing for a lot of these young, these you know, these up and coming dudes. Like, like I don't know, I don't know, um, John John's like how he writes or whatever, but that nigga always be prepared, bro. Like, like so. he can, he, that nigga can write a fucking twelve minute rap and then just insert name here, <laughs> and all four niggas lost. That's it. Nah, yeah. but I feel like John. I like my, my, for me, I feel like John John more strategic than that though. So I don't, I don't know how that shit works for him, but I know a nigga like I drugs mean, though, for, like. Drug, it depends how threatened he feels. That's what it is. Drugs man. gonna write his shit on the way to the venue and he be, be around mad. The like fire. around he, the fire. Or he gonna or he gonna he gonna beat a nigga and then be, be ready for the next nigga like while he's waiting for the who whoever's gonna win the battle. Like <laughs> <laughs> Girl, he just be writing on the side like drugs is drugs is phenomenal phenomenal talent. I like drugs and that and that like drugs. Who had drugs? I think um Mac Marvin, uh Cuban. Cuban's another one. Yeah, I like That's I like right. I like I like Mac Myron too. Mac Myron is a he a fun nigga to watch the, battle, bro. Like he, Cuban, I mean, he be talking about he be talking like he got like he feels like he got a guarantee to surf already. So like he don't even feel like he need the, the term I mean it's nah, levels well, in know, the I, game, man. But yeah, cute. But he, I like to, I like to hear that though. I like, like fuck, he got that, like Sir, Sir Sir got that good confidence. Him. You feel me? Yeah, and Sir fuck with him heavy, so it's like it's not like it's not like it's not plausible. Like he, when I spoke to him on Saturday, he really was breaking it down to how much they they fuck with each other and all that. So he, the tournament is not even for Cuban. Like Cuban feel like even if he's not in the tournament, he don't win the tournament. He knows the Surf battles in his future because Surf wants to battle him. Like out of all the new cats, is one of the people that he feel like he would have a dope battle with is Cuban. So if it, if it was That's ever dope. a new name down the line, then it would That's be right. that. So That's it, right. it, it, it's different That's reasons dope. people do I, it for. But like, like he was still doing it for the exposure, like, and yeah, I, and I can't be mad at that. He can do that shit, like, oh yeah. 
Like I want to, I want to see, I want to see Cuba keep leveling up though. Yeah. Like, I want to see, you know what I mean? I want to see, I'm, I want to see how, you know, how much better he could get in this game because he, you know, he doing his thing. Like, but I want to see, I want to see the next level of Cuba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Same facts. here. Same here. I'm excited. Just like, to see that. just like I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Uh, like I, I got a, another reason why drugs is one of my favorite because I want to see I want to see drugs actually win this shit and I want to see what he does I want to see him really get focused and write three strong rounds to battle surf you know what I mean I want to see that nigga mm-hmm. really like feel like you know what like nah this is surf I gotta get in my bag that's I, that's what I want to see like because we all know you know yeah he getting in this short you know this short notice shit and he gets busy but I want to see what he could do like totally focused yeah, oh, matter of fact, time. speaking of drugs, yo, like I just seen, um, I just recently I seen um him and Ace going back and forth, which was interesting. You know what I'm saying? If they happen to go at, you know, three rounds, who would you pick? Him and um drugs versus Ace and me. Who would who would I pick? Yeah. I'm 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 going with drugs off the rip, like you know what I mean, like. But I fuck with Ace Heavy, like yeah, but, Ace got intricate shit. But if we go, if we going for who, go for the kill. Like drugs will be back to back to back to back punches and haymakers, and you are gonna be waiting on the on the punch when when you're dealing with Ace shit. Like so, it's, like it's, nah, it's, I feel like I feel like Ace is super fire, but I just like I don't know. Like I'm I'm partial to to drug style. You feel me? Like I think mm-hmm. Ace is fire, but like if I'm if. Like if it came down to a preference, like I'm watching the battle and it's like, oh, I gotta pick a winner based off preference. I think I'm gonna prefer what drugs put out there as opposed to what Ace put out there. Even though I think the battle will end up some dope shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that that's the type of battle that we as fans would win. You know what I'm saying? We'll be the victors. You know, but I like drugs, yo. Drugs and you know, so not nah, and listen, you you know me, you know how I feel. Like I, I like I'll pick a winner all day, but. That don't mean that's who gonna win. Like you know, niggas still gotta <laughs> go out there and show and prove. Like you know, because you know some people be tight or whatever. We say you think they gonna lose. Like I don't be mad. Niggas just go in there and get to work and should prove me wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm always willing bad. to keep it a stack after the battle. Like oh nah, you did your thing, bro. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. You proved me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I like drugs and that, man. Yo, drugs is so dope, man. Even even when he battled bad news, like they was telling me that the battle wasn't good. You know, um, I watched it and I was like, oh shit. Like drugs did his thing. Like he he kinda got he kinda got bad news out of there if I, if you really think about it. Like for me, like after watching, like uh, bad news had that one bar in the third round, the stake was in the bar, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? But drugs did his thing. And it's crazy because drugs felt like that was that wasn't a good showing, but that's actually he was he did he did his thing, you know. But I, I definitely want to see a focused drugs like a really motivated drug, because like we established like drugs does a lot of last minute prep, you know what I'm saying. So imagine if you battle surf in a one round or whatever three rounds whatever, you know what I'm saying. He would have to he would have to sit down and focus. I'm, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna say he would have to, but I would hope he would. I would hope he feel like you know what? Like I gotta, I gotta really, you know what I mean? Because like, like not only like not only to say you know like how how great an artist Surf is, but just like you know, like you you gonna you gonna end, you gonna be in a big room. You know what I mean? You are gonna be in a big crowd. Like you gotta you gotta be prepared for all of that. Like that's another whole level of shit. You feel me? Like it's it's not only the nigga that's standing in front of you now. It's the like the size of the crowd, you got to be prepared for all of that shit. And I don't think that short notice shit is really gonna like come through like he would want it to. You feel me? I feel like he would want to really focus in like to prepare for the the magnitude of that room that he's, he's gonna be in with a potential battle like Surf. Like the, the, you know how you know how crazy the crowds be, bro. Like like people mm-hmm. feel how they want about Surf, but that nigga brings the crowds in, man. Like he does. <laughs> that man's a draw. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest draws. <laughs> And um, you know, I mean, one of the biggest um sellers, you know, what I'm saying, box office. That man's box office. So yeah, you know, so you would hope that drugs would come with his A one shit, you know, because you might, you know, might want to see him looking sad on stage, bro. You know, what I'm saying like, and surfing going off. You know, what I'm saying because 
say what you want. You know, you don't want to. You don't want. You want. I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, that's a fact. You standing there looking silly and surface, <laughs> surface going crazy. You on Twitter like, yo, these new dudes can't hang. I'm like, oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, yeah, I had any discussion about this weekend, uh, like, or, or y'all, y'all getting before this weekend. Oh, this weekend, uh, we can talk about it, man. Born Legacy Eight. Yeah, well, I mean, we spoke on that when we had Fonz on here, like we did, yeah, right? Yeah, oh. I worry my boy Fawns on here. Fawns is my guy, man. He better go. Well, say, you know what it is, Terra. We we only talk battle rap. So we yeah, yeah, yeah. we had Fawns on here. It was just like, was they talking shit about Fawns? Like, what yeah, did they nah, yeah, yeah. like, See, we we just interviewed the guy and put some promotion behind BL8, so we got a little, you know, ten to twelve views. They call oh, it. Oh man, day. nah. I see, I should have had Fawns on here. You know, he talked my. He smashed his opponent's moms in real life type shit. Like, you know, y'all, y'all gotta make some shit up. Exactly. Man. Yeah, no <laughs> the closest controversy we had is when we named people he called out that he wants to battle. Oh, uh, nah, nah. He, he gotta Not name enough. people he wanna really punch in the face or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I gotta yeah. start making up stories though. So phones, like, you know. But I will say like that I heard there you one thing somebody I was saying with BLA shit. Who was it? Like, <laughs> BLA has got a lot of promo and niggas ain't talking about it. I will say that. Like that if bringing up that we that we had spoke on it before, like that's just been getting a lot of promotion, a lot of trailers. And and for the same fans that whenever like oh Born Legacy A was was announced. Oh, when are we gonna get the full card? Niggas get the full card and nobody shares this shit. So what was you rushing me for for the full card? Yeah, man. You go. You gonna right. be out there, minutes? Nah, I'm, I'm skipping the BLA. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> to, I, I ain't ain't gonna lie, like, like travels. I, I ain't mad at you. Like I wanted to go though, bad. Like the shit really yeah. didn't work out with my days off at work and shit. But I wanted to fuck. With yeah, that my shit, next like, shit was supposed to be Survivor Series, but that shit in Jersey now. So. I'm- well, you know, like um, you know, let, let's get at some time. You know, things may change. <laughs> oh, I, I I'm see worried. everybody promoting Jersey now. Once I seen that, I was like, ah. Oh, really, not really too fond of the Jersey life. Yeah, I'm yeah. You know, like, I think, I think, I think options are being weighed, though. You know, like if Jersey is the best option, that's where that's the way it's gonna go. But I think you know, still might be some New York opportunities. But you know, Hulk. Yo, yo Tommy, you going to Philly? Oh, factual. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, like you know, that shit two hours away. You know, two three hours away. Like that, that that's that's totally doable. Like. I was I was looking at Cleveland like you know you got to really fly there. Yeah, that's a difference from my side too. All my trips involve me having to even drive or fly to that motherfucker. So I always got to think ahead. Like yeah, I ain't right now. I after band, bro. I'm not doing no more like multiple event trips. Like that was the craziest one. Like we drove we drove over there. Did the the first night of band the same day I got there? Like I we we got there at three thirty after driving for like fourteen hours. I, I took a lie, shower, bro. changed clothes, Listen, and pulled up to the event. And for then the, for the first Sunday, that was the first time and drove back. That was the first time they could stick the bus out there, bro. I, like yo, I love the bus now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a good time on the bus, you know, bro. These, just... these niggas be they be abusing the guard. They be making me drive there and back and shit. So. Like I got took that nice, <laughs> that nice peaceful bus ride. I was sleeping like a toddler. Yeah, that's what I did. Every time I take a bus trip, that anyway, I sleep. Yo, I, when I was in Houston, I was like, yo, I, I felt Tevis pain, son, because I was driving everybody everywhere, son. It was me, Sam, and Bills out there, son. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. Nah, but you was just driving around Texas, nigga, like. We be we be driving through five states, fucking with these VA <laughs> battles. And Words, niggas are being in, niggas are being in the car sleeping and smoking and shit. I'm I'm paying attention to the road for six <laughs> hours in a row. Yeah, yeah. Terry was our designated driver, man. For like, wow, for like past five six events that it was in um, Virginia, son. Like now you know because I be scared. Some niggas really can't drive. But you know, like I like I be having <laughs> yo yo salute to everybody on the Discord Reaper Rail, the worst driver I ever met. <laughs> 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 the nigga tried to kill me in Dutch. 
word. Oh my god. Yo, remember that joint when we coming home, son? And nigga said, yo, I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 this nigga cut away. Wait, wait, what makes it worse, right? He cut off Optimus Prime and didn't put a signal on. Like he, he, he just, <laughs> just drove out in front of the nigga. I was like, oh Word. shit. Um, Reap, Reap tried to kill me. <laughs> Word, son. We was going through construction. He mad because the, there's traffic on the construction. Like, dude, there's only one lane. He was like, yo, they can move some, you can move faster. I'm like, dude, like, there's only one lane, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? He was like, he about to cut through the cone. Yeah, man, Reaper Rail. Shout out to Reaper Rail, man. That's still my bro, though. He's still a yeah. dope battler. He's just a shitty driver. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, Mr. Magoo. Come on, man, Mr. Magoo, man. He said, yo, I, I ain't got my glasses on. What? <laughs> He's trying to kill us, man. You say that shit, bro. I'm telling you right now. Pull over. We out. That's it. You done. Trying to kill us, nah, man. Bro, I, I, yo, yo, menace. I couldn't drive anymore, bro. I was, I was fried. Like, I got hosted half the fucking event, and then I had to get in the car and drive all the way back. To I was cooked. Like, yeah, fuck that. Like, when we yeah. took trip, bro, it's pit stops at least every three hours, nigga. Pull over. You got to sleep, whatever. <laughs> no matter of fact, that event that I'm talking about with Reaper, bro. I hope the entire event, bro. Smack the income. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that was you. Yeah, yeah, that was um Reaper and Holmesy. We playing Holmesy. Yeah, I don't even think they dropped nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Venom. Oh, <laughs> man, that was ugly. That was nasty. Nigga, Drake Dennis beat the dog shit out Venom out there. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Venom, Venom feel like he don't lose. Nah, he definitely <laughs> lost that one. I don't give a fuck what he was talking about. <laughs> they said they was against him. Nigga, you was in, nigga, you was in VA. <laughs> Dre Dennis is from Jersey. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Anybody's close to the home, like. Girl, yo, yo, the whole place was full of DMV dudes. And he talking about, yo, there was bias against me. I'm like, nigga, you shitting me? Dre Dennis from Jersey. Jersey. Nah, I can't find though. That nigga, that nigga Dre was in his bag that day. Yo, my man, yo, listen, my man, my man Thesis need to hurry up and start dropping these um DMV invitational joints, man. I, we we went to the DMV that same day of um of Summer Impact Reloaded, yeah. man. Like them DMV niggas is getting busy out there, boy. Like a word? I, word. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Look, look, let me tell you how real it is. Right. Nigga Thesis hit me up, like, yo, bro. Um I know Summer Man, I know Summer Impact Reloaded is coming up, right? But we got we gotta go to DC the same day. I was like, I was like, oh shit, that's the same day. I feel I felt bad. I was like, damn, fuck, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss some mad and shit. So we got out there to um to the DMV, man. The, the battle started. I was like, oh, I ain't too mad. These niggas is getting busy. Like we had like seven joints, man, and almost every joint was like fire. I think we might have had one one or two chokes, but not and they wasn't even crazy chokes, like but the like the battles them niggas put on, man. Salute to the DMV. A word? That's for sure, man. It was, it was like, like I, I don't know why thesis ain't named it this, but like, cause it kind of seemed like it was like um pit fights versus um versus our society. I think that's right. Like, um, Kel shit. But like, yeah, yeah. Cause I, cause um I'm hosting the shit all night. I got Kel's on the left side and um and Shaka on the right side. <laughs> 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 and like you know, like the, like they was they was hosted with me, so you know, like I would introduce myself, and then Kels introduce herself, and you know, like she, um, what the fuck is her, what the fuck is her management called? Um, um, KMM. Yeah, KMM. <laughs> yeah, she'd be like KMM, and it'd be like thirty niggas, like mom, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the nigga, and then the nigga Shaka, he'll do his introduction, and he'll say something. And, oh yeah, fire. <laughs> You should have called it though, them versus them, but the the event was dope. <laughs> but they put they had, they had some good shit, man. Like, 
we 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 gonna bring a couple of niggas from there to the New York invitation, man. We're like, shit gonna be lady. Facts, man. Yo, shout out to my guy on um, Barcelona from Pitch Fights, man. We gotta get him a, we gotta get, we gotta get him a plate, man. The situation ain't happening with him up here. I like Barcelona, man. I wonder why he, well, uh, well, he, he, what well, you felt like he was past the invitational. I wonder why they ain't put him on the invitation. Felt like he just he PG worthy right now. Nah, I mean he could. You know what I'm saying? But I still, I still feel like he got uh, maybe like one or two battles to. You know what I mean? To you know what I mean to get through, so you know he could be ready. You know, but yeah, yeah, remember, I remember he was on post a, He was supposed to be on the invitation that um the last not the last one the um yeah the last one yeah the last one that we did up here. You feel me? But I don't know what happened with his. I know what happened. That was he was supposed to be him versus um your boy Peanut, and he got the last minute call. Peanut got the last minute call. For, for um, that yeah, yeah. So that's when he that battled Burke, right? That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you know that that didn't go down. So you know we definitely want to fuck up Barcelona, get him another plate. You know, get him right because I think he's a dope talent. You know what I'm saying? He was wilding. He was wilding on We Go Hard earlier this year, son. Uh, versus um, shout out to my guy AP. You know, but he was he was wilding, son. He was definitely <laughs> he was bugging out. I, I think he's a dope I talent, know, you know. But you you know, like I think the we supposed to be having another invitation coming up in you know December. I'm sure you got a pick. You know, I guess Barcelona should be your pick. <laughs> there you go. I, 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 I got three now. I got three, man. Yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, um, Kells, man, you in trouble? You in trouble? You said what? You Kells. said who in trouble? Um, Kells. Oh, oh, oh it's you versus Kells. Kells? Yeah, it's me and um Sleeves. It's supposed to be me and Sleeves versus Kells and Ty Diamond. Oh shit. I don't I, look, hey, listen. Um I don't know, man. Kells be having some killers. <laughs> I know. She got the whole DMV on lock. Yeah, Kel, Kels got some killers, B. Like she got the whole DMV on lock. You know what I'm saying? I, I might have to outsource some talent. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gonna have to make sure you find a dangerous nigga, man. Like, where we see some, we see some killers in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Might have to shoot them from there. You know, some other places as well. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. <laughs> we'll be oh, alright. Yeah, as you said, as you were sleeves. Oh man. And who, yeah, who, who is Kels and who else? Uh, Ty Diamond. Oh, Ty and Kels. Yeah, so he, so I got all the we go hard, dude. So I can't even go over there. You know what I'm saying? He about to. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. You, you and Sleeves might be in trouble. <laughs> we, we might, might be, we might be, we might. You know what I'm saying? We definitely got a game plan. We definitely got a game plan and make a few calls, man. Yeah, y'all better do something. Eight minutes to help him out, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I don't get involved in nothing. <laughs> thing, but I'm, I'm clear of all we know about the, the, the Dutch curse with the list. So oh, anything man. that got to do with Dutch and battle rappers, I'm not involved. Because somebody's oh, going to come back mad at Dutch. That's just the norm. And hey. anytime you do anything hey, yo. that involves you mixing yo. with a battle rapper, somebody's going to be yo, mad at you. Hey, yo, yo. Tell me, in short, <laughs> in short, man, they said, yo, yo, my, my brother, you on your own, man. You, are, you, on your own. you and whatever pick you got. <laughs> you on your own, brother. Yeah, yeah, my man Dutch Notorious for the list, man. They be on your body, bro. <laughs> yeah, they be on my they be on my they be on my kofi, son. Yeah, me and Dutch been mad places and it's every time we go somewhere, somebody be running down and it's like so Dutch. So I ain't make the list. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's fun, the funniest part about that is that whenever he drops his that nigga's just mad about say his Dutch list don't matter. But then they'll see that like, yo, Dutch, I really ain't make your list, my nigga. Like, if my list they be don't matter, like, like they, mad, they be mad they ain't make the list or they not high enough for the list. Yeah. Well, I, I, I swear we make was somewhere and the nigga was complaining about being, being number three or something. I'm number three, Dutch? I'm like, God damn. That's all I'm about to say. Like, <laughs> you niggas be mad about <laughs> on the list. Word, they made the list. They made the list, but they're like, yo, I can't get any higher. 
Come on, son. Can't give me the eyes. My number three. You really think this nigga better than me? Yeah. That's obviously what that means, sir. Like, I think this nigga's better you than you. You got it. <laughs> you was dead. You was that's dead. Yo, Troy, you was dead. Listen, was like, that's, why I, that's, why I, that's why I stay out of all of that. I don't make no lists or nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just be dope. <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> Word, son. Like, I, that's, that's why I like, I love the list, man. I love the list, man, because it's just. It, it kind of like provides some type provide some type of inspiration for these dudes to you know do their thing you know at the same it's time a nice conversation and to stir shit up that's what they do that's yeah yeah that's you a know? fact you know because a lot of times these guys don't do it on their own I'm not just saying that it's my responsibility but i like to shed light on you know these events you know these pgs you feel what i'm saying so if they don't See, do it on gonna, look 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 i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro like Dutch in these lists, bro. Like, like Dutch is mad respectful, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if these battlers be appreciating that shit. Like, I couldn't make a list, right? Because if I make the list, right, and it's somebody that's trash, tries to explain to me why they belong on the list, I'm going to tell you, yo, you're horrible, bro. Like, I don't even know why you talking to me. Like, you know, then somebody might want to fight me or something like that. So, I, you know, yeah, I just I stay mean, away yeah, from the list, I, bro. I, 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 I'm saying that shit. That's the scary part about it now is a nigga will fight you off of you talking facts like Man, I don't give a fuck you are trash like, only you feel that way nah fuck that fuck that yo sometimes I'll, be, like, sometimes I'll be looking at the list I'll be like damn the Dutch really think this guy's all right like I'll be thinking to myself I thought he was trash but I guess you know Dutch seen something that I did <laughs> <laughs> well I'll be I'll be looking at some of the you know like because I'll be seeing a lot of screenshots people talking about oh you know this nigga Dutch a hater and all of this shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, damn, who the fuck is this? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't even know who this is. And they talk about they should be on the list. Like, unknown nigga. Yeah. <laughs> You're not yeah, without a list or not. We don't even know who you are. Start there Start first, there first. Yeah, like, Or Dutch know who you are, but we don't. Like, who you? Who are you? Yeah, either the person be complaining or, or the person's best friend and shit. Oh, I can't believe you don't have solar system. Sam, you number five on your list at least. Like, what? Like, not, triple <laughs> not triple S. Not triple S. No triple S. Solar system, Sammy. That's right. Solar system, Sammy, got to be at least number one. The niggas will be niggas will be posting like a like a um a thirty five second best of and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, my man is nice. <laughs> like yo, bro, the best of is thirty five seconds. Man, just keep you ain't pushing. Never like seen nobody like this. <laughs> <laughs> Got 12 lines in his best of video. Like, just, just move oh. along, sir. He got eight battles and all in and, and that 35 clip be on one battle. One battle. Sad. Sad. It'd be it'd it be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I especially when it drop. And, and when it drop, I usually just drop the, the list and walk away. And like all the, let my and turn off my notica notification. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know I don't. I, I try not to argue with the people, man. See, that's my thing. That's why I can't make a list because I'm not like that. Like my my notifications to be like turned all the way up. Like I need to see this. <laughs> like I want to hear all the shit niggas niggas is crying about. And shout out to uh, Troy and Thesis, yo, because they the pettiest niggas I know, man. They <laughs> throw my list under the bus. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I, I I fuck with him for that though because like it it it, it show it just like puts extra light on it. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Shout you know, like throwing sleeves. I can't I can't lie, man. I, like sometimes I be in agreement with my bros, man. Like you really be um, <laughs> you really be wild. You, <laughs> you really be wild. Well, you wild as well. Respectfully, I don't have no opinion on his list. I can't tell if you do that shit on purpose or not. <laughs> <laughs> that should be trying to piss niggas off. Yeah, like I honestly sometimes purposely make the list like I how niggas all get mad or if it's just like this is how I genuinely feel. So I don't know, niggas just might not like my opinion. Nah, not for nothing. Like a lot of times, like well, most most recently with the with the uh, most recent list, you know what I'm saying. 
like I actually have a structure, like I actually have a system now, you know. So if somebody is that low or somebody that high, it's because of what I base on the on their past knee battle. A lot of people, you know what I mean, from the from people surprised, like they be trash, son. Like they be really they like people that they think that they got a name, whatever. And you look at their last three battles, like yo, son, you choked in this one, like you fucked up in this one. And you wasn't that good in this one. So when I did a calculation, I don't know. Son, like, look, I'm going to keep it a stack. Like, um, I feel like you hold my man murder on that last joint. Son. <laughs> yo, not for nothing, yo. Like, I like how the, how people saw the battle was how I saw the battle. You know what I'm saying? His first was okay because he cut his brown sh The second, he was wild. The third, he did good, but it was like it wasn't like his second. You know what I'm saying? His nah, second, but I, like, like, nah. But you, but you said you don't only go off that battle. So, like, his two battles before that, like, you know nah, what I mean? What? Well, in that in that particular list, I was going off of everything that happened. The PG that performance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Compared to anybody else. I ain't gonna watch the footage, but I, you know, I felt like he was kind of dope in the building. Like, I. Don't, I no, he was. He was like I feel like I feel like honestly Bubba won the battle. Murder had an incredible second. You know what I'm saying? That kind of made people remember like, oh shit, yo, murder was really wild. But if you watch the battle, it's like, all right, cool. He did his thing in the first, he was going crazy in the second, and in the third, he was I you know I mean he did his thing. You know, but oh. How long? How long this shit be going? This this um this Discord thing, like I got like yeah, unlimited that's, time and all that. Yeah, that's yeah. Shit. I was about to tell like start cutting kind of showing my ass. Gotta get some eat. I need to smoke, and I gotta be up at six in the morning. So which one we could be? So I ain't gonna lie, um, bro. Like like when I used to do the show, <laughs> for um, when we used to do the war report shit, nigga, I'd be eating. And all that on on the <laughs> air. That, you know the problem is I'm using I'm using like a real thing in the background. You're gonna hear that shit loud. And oh, that's right? hilarious! Like, like what? You see, I, I I just grabbed the plastic bag. That shit is all. If I'm over here, like yeah. So uh, and I was trying to. No. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It's yeah, over. Yo. I, I can't. Do, uh, my AC is off. My fan is off. Like I can't have nothing on because you'll hear that shit loud and clear on the mic. Oh, yo, that's crazy. It, like I'm playing NBA 2K right we, we, now. We, we, like, over here oh, man, we, we over here trying to give niggas quality audio and then <laughs> professionalism. Professionalism. We, we even mama. made the name I Hate Battle Rap to try to attract motherfuckers to the shit and nothing. They get here and realize, oh, these niggas really love the culture. This ain't cool. Word. Nah, y'all like, need a y'all need a new name. Y'all your name that shit. Fuck battle rappers. Facts. The, the whole point of the I hate battle rap was to talk about that, like how we hate how how gotta be negative in order to get attention. But yeah, gotta, yeah, gotta even like, that shit fuck. didn't work. Spice it up, spice it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta, yeah, gotta, you know. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, like you battle rap, shit, fuck you. <laughs> you gotta name the shit fuck battle rap, and then you know you start each show. Yo, what's good? This Dutch K I B. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you don't fuck with me, suck my dick. Like, oh, you know what I mean? I got. <laughs> It's the only way. We gotta convert to the dark side. <laughs> Word, gotta violate, the, the, gotta get on the shit listen, bro, to, honestly, at the end of the day, as as, as annoying as that shit get, bro, we've been doing this fucking radio podcast and shit for five plus years, and I don't think I ever cared about the views on the motherfucking shit. So it is what it is. Niggas just give our two cents. If anything, we dropping gems that niggas should have been you. They don't get them because they're so busy listening. To some bullshit. So it is what it is. Nah, I, but y'all, you know, y'all gotta turn up, man. Y'all, you guys, you, like you guys are nice guys, and, you, and I'm gonna be honest. Man, this nigga menace is not really that nice of a guy, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> he's, he's, he's very respectful with the show, but he's not. He's not really that nice of a guy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let these people know how mean of a guy you are. So you gotta, you know, you gotta stop calling niggas trash on their head. Man. Oh, we do. No, that that trash talk would never go away. I tell niggas they trash when they trash, bro. Like that's yeah, the. That's good. 
Well, well, I do keep it a certain level. For three rounds, like you I like, definitely you keep know. it a certain level of professional on here, but it's, it's yeah, no, nah, no, nah, like I, 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 that's the shit that look, forced look. me to vent when I be on the town. Like your mother, the fuck out of here, my nigga. Like, I'm look, tired look, of being nice and nice. This is what I'm gonna say. Look, you gotta you gotta check this shit out, Rob. See who be retweeting and all of that, right? And you know, like y'all be showing love to these artists and shit, right? And they they probably don't even listen to the show. But say something negative about one of these things. <laughs> <You know? laughs> see, how, see how quick they, they get so out here. They're going to get heal. Like, fuck what? Dutch. Ooh, fuck Dutch and custom made minutes. Who the, who the fuck are these niggas? Like, they're going to be, yeah, y'all show going to go through the roof. Oh, wait, let me see. <laughs> let me see why this nigga is mad at them. <laughs> We're going through your pictures. Like, yo, look at this bum ass nigga Dutch. Word. Yeah. You got yeah, gotta, to gotta, gotta, gotta turn it Like up, I said, we. We in the mix anyway, so at the end of the day, regardless of the shit, like we, we it's not all we do. Like we not just niggas trying to podcast and shit. Like nah, we nah, actually I'm work events and all that listen, shit. We work with artists you know my, and all that. So it is what it is. Y'all, y'all, my niggas, man. Y'all come outside and all that, man. You know, I got a special like, we, place we, in my we, heart for people that come outside. We got recognition <laughs> when it matters. <laughs> out there, I, I, I was I got, talking to Dutch about that shit earlier, my nigga. Like niggas be one of like why niggas always bring that up. Like oh niggas that come out to events because. Perfect example was me and Cuban. Me and Cuban was on the Twitter timeline arguing about the two surf tournament. Then I had to see Cuban on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we had the same argument in person. So it's like, you're not gonna, you, you can't be that type of person to talk shit online and have a certain level of, I don't give a fuck. And then when you see the nigga, you're not gonna say it. Like, yeah, it, 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 it is a different level of respect for niggas that come outside because we got to stick to our word. Like, we can't just talk shit and then. When we see the nigga fold, because everybody gonna find out about that shit. Oh yeah, I seen this nigga menace at the event. All that shit he was talking about online, he ain't about that. I think it was quiet. Like, nah, bro. If you see me and I felt some type of way, I'm like, yo, you're the tournament. <laughs> we gonna talk about it. Word. Yeah, you talking about the tournament shit? I seen him in person. I ain't seen him in person. So I ain't about the keyboard. Yeah, like, nah, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm real him, big bro. on keeping a good reputation, bro. I've never in life deal with some shit like that. I ain't gonna start now. If I feel some type of way, I'm gonna say it then and in person and whatever else. Like it is what it is. I'm not scared of people not fucking with me because I kept it real with myself. Like, well, no, that's yeah. a fact. Like, you know, now, man. it's the difference between like telling somebody they trash and a lot of dudes, man, out here that, that's not outside. They talk spicy to these, uh, you know, yeah, these artists. Not only spicy, but there's no logic behind when they say this shit. Yeah. Like, if, I, if I'm saying is because I truly feel that way for all the shit I've seen over the years and the level of rap that we're used to, if I don't feel like you anywhere close to it, I'm going to tell you you trash. Yeah. It's because I can explain why. I will compare you to everybody that's not trash and let you know why it is that you are trash. Well, you know who I salute, though? I salute trash niggas not asking me how they perform as well. Trash nigga that never walked up and asked me how they perform. Never asked like, they just salute know. To you. Like, salute to you for knowing that you was dirt. Yeah, thanks. You, know, you, you gotta, to gotta go back to the drone. Know. You know what I mean? Like, every now and then you gotta let a nigga know. And so, what you thought? I, I didn't that. think anything, sir. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, appreciate it. Like, I no, see I'm you trying. turn around and I see you turn around and look at my face a couple of times. I'm sure you, um, <laughs> <laughs> you got the indication that this wasn't one. going well. And I was trying to be nice guys because we. Yeah. Now I ain't gonna hold you. Like there's been times where, you know, somebody, somebody hit me up like, "Yo, I'm story about my battles." I ain't gonna hold you, son. You, was kind of trash, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, I seen better, but you know that. I've definitely had people get mad at me for giving them like the proper criticism. Like a, a nigga that think he already got the sauce, like, and you tell him like, yo, now nah, you gotta fix this and this if you really think he's gonna make it somewhere. Like even re recently, I've had a nigga hit me up that like two years ago hit me up for advice, and then got mad that I told him I, that he wasn't good, and I, I told him how he could fix it. Two years later, the nigga hit me up, yo, I just wanted to say, you know, I appreciated that advice you gave me back in the day. I finally started changing my style up, and it's working for me. And like, it took you two years to fucking. Realize I wasn't just hating on you, man. Like right. sometimes you gotta sit there and realize it's really advice, bro. Like everybody ain't as good as they think they are. You ever had a nigga send you a battle that he lost? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Wow. 
And honestly, if they did, they lucked up with me because if you send me a bad one, you want me to see how good. You so I will, I will watch one of your. Take you off of that. I won't even watch the whole battle to see if you won a loss. So. Nah, I, I usually don't even watch the one that they send me. Like usually, somebody send me a battle. If I if I give a fuck to watch the shit, like I'll watch something else because I know they're usually gonna send you the, the, the best shit, shit they, they ever yeah, did. Yeah, the best shit they yep. So exactly. like I be I be trying to go find that one that they died in. Like yo, oh, so yeah, all right, I watched the one you sent me, but so what happened what over here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, you know, my 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 cat was in a coma. And <laughs> <laughs> I had bad shit going on, you know. My mom had a hangnail, so I had to. <laughs> and you be getting mad excuses and shit. Yeah, my, you know what I'm saying my sister tripped over the bed. Wild dumb shit. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> you know what I'm saying my cat died. All right, mad crazy shit. But you know, like you know, I, sal- I salute my niggas over here at the, the I hate battle rap. Podcast, hey, we gonna keep rocking. Man. I, some feel, fun hey, shit. I feel yeah, like yeah, the yeah. conversation ain't never been out there ever. Like the positives and negative shit, like how it is now. Like niggas, the type of media p- people paying attention to. So nah, that's a fact. We'll, we'll see. We gonna we gonna gauge the effect it has that the fans are asking because it's not us. Like when media complains about not getting listened to, fans don't care. When other fans are saying like, "Yo, is there even any media left that just talks about battle rap?" That's when it matters because you know they looking for it. So now. We got to yeah, but keep on rocking. That should that should be so rare, bro. Like, yeah, it's very limited, like, bro. Very limited. My, my my Twitter timeline be heavy, man. I be scrolling through, and I like it's it's like if I don't get tagged, like in like you know like y'all podcast, I get tagged from time to time. I just happen to be home today and awake, so I was like, oh yeah, let me get on the let me get on yeah. the Discord with the bros and see what's happening. But like Appreciate you know, usually it. usually I got to catch the shit on YouTube and all of that, so it's like. But like for the most part, like I be seeing, I be scrolling, and it's like, it's like this guy, and he's mad at that guy, and you know, mm-hmm. he's talking about somebody's family. Or like, yeah, mm-hmm. I seen right. niggas dropping whole blood. Like, yeah, I'm not doing. You know, I, I had to talk with my peoples, and I'm not doing none of that drama shit no more. Five minutes later, yo, this nigga said this about this person, and I, I'm just waiting to find out what he's gonna do. And like, yo, bro, that, that nigga cannot. Stay away from drama-filled topics if, if like, your life depended on this shit. Then they got to take right off of that, like, attention. Like, of, 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 if I don't talk about this shit, somebody else will, and I'm going to lose out on it. Nah, like, it's a, sad. It's sad, but that's it, the situation, though, person, bro. Like, that, really that's how it is. Shit. Like, Yeah. But that's how really it is, man. Niggas. They're going to lose out on views. Like, I can't yeah, talk. Like, I'm naturally I'm not an attention-seeking person, so to me, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. I, I, and when I go out, I don't want attention. When I'm at events, I don't look to be front row seen by everyone. So it's not like I'm going to get on radio. And, what can I do to get everybody to like me? Like, I really don't care that much for it. Sometimes I really just like to vent on this shit. I'm like, yo, this is how we feel about shit. And being that we're really in tune with the culture and what goes on, like, we always going to give a different perspective than people that's just looking at it from the outside looking in. Oh, that's the fact. So I. It's a big fact. We still rock. You know what I'm saying? I, I salute y'all, man, because I, I can't do it, man. I'd be on here just talking all reckless and shit. Like, <laughs> what, what you would say, Tell us, let, me, let us know, man. What you would say? Like, give, nah, give us like, two words, man. From I hate rattle rat, man. Like, what you would I say? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that be going on, man. Like, I I, I just be upset about, man. Like, but like I like for me, it's like. It's like I'd be upset about shit, and you know, I don't know. I guess other people might think it's dumb and shit, like, but, like, I, you know, I, I hate, I hate showing up to events and everything's late, man. Like, like, you know, like I'll be mad at everybody. I'll be- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, it, like for example, um, summer, summer impact reloaded. We talked about this, man. Like, there was no reason for an event to have four battles and still, and it'll be gathered. eight hours. Eight hours. Not only start that late, but that, that that battle still was long as hell. Each like it wasn't like you go look, back to back. Yo, shout out to my man, they got wilding, son. Like I was but filming look, the, um the other angle. I was filming the other angle on the front of the stage, son. In that first round from Snake Eyes, I was like, yo, man, <laughs> yo, Snake, can you please stop? Like, come on, call time. Somebody call time, please. 
Like, that shit was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, son. Man, I was like, single. yo, my arm is getting tired. You like, come on. <laughs> I'm running out of space. The battery's dying. Like, come on, son. That's Time. Loud. Time. Nobody wanted to do it. Nah, it was too, like, you know what I mean? It was too much talking going on. My man, my man Snake felt like he had to get in there and show and prove, man. Like, he couldn't <laughs> walk in that shit and, you know, like, yeah. like he's slacking, like, so, like. Nah, he let I it, he let it. it. I, I get it, too. You know, because, you know, like, with two separate occasions, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? This being the last one, you know, so he had a lot to say. 20 minutes worth to be exact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I ain't mad at it, you know. But he had he had he definitely had to, you know, get it off his mind. So Yeah, salute to them, man. They had a grimy battle, man. Like they put yeah. on, man. They put on a good show in front of that big ass crowd. They sure did. You know what I'm saying? Put on a great show. You know, really, really a gutter battle, man. Really gutter grime street battle, man. Shout out to them, Ace and Mean and Snake Eyes, you know. But still, four battles, four battles in eight hours. That makes no goddamn. So look, let me, let me, like, yo, I know a lot of people don't know, man. Like, I used to go to, I used to go to Smack events. It's like 2013, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, I, I went to, the, I went to, I was at the event when, um, when Tay Rock battled B Magic, bro. Mm hmm. By the time the event was over, right, when we got outside, the sun was still out. Like, that was such a beautiful thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, really take the moment, right, for both of y'all. Take the moment and think about this. When was the last time you left an event and the sun was still out? <laughs> Not, bro. I don't... Yo. Not like, even the, and, recent. Like, but look, this is, like, this is when, like, URL, URL used to do, like, three or four battles, bro. Like, go to the event, three or Three or four battles and be out in the in the sun to be out. I was at the event when uh, when newborn battles go. Mm. Like, yeah, and I was outside. The sun was up. Like people was doing interviews without shining lights. <laughs> that, 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 that just happened this past Saturday. Like the closest to it still being light outside when I got out of an event, and they still started late. Like they their event said doors open at two. And the event ain't start till 4 30, but we ran all the battles back to 7 38. And it was still like sun was about to go down, but it was still light outside. But most events is not running battles back to back. It's battle break, battle break, battle break. And not no five minute yeah, break, I, half an hour break. Like, yeah, that, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that should be fucking me up because, you know, like, I don't smoke or none of that stuff, so I don't really need a break. Yeah, you just waiting. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, when, I, when, when I be hosting, I be, hey, they be like, you ready? Absolutely. Like, let's. Let's go. Let's go. I don't really give a fuck about nothing else. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Like, when um that that thing that thing happened with uh, with, uh in Charlotte, and uh, uh, what you call it, the Mook and the Mook and um Bridge battle didn't happen. You know, the two on twos. I was kind of happy. So I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, oh, look, <laughs> I was I was on stage right, and then the nigga Beasley comes up to make the announcement. Right before he before he like really walked up there and started talking, I was like, "What happened?" These niggas just gave me the head shake. I was like, "Oh yeah, the battle ain't happening. We out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I ain't go last, and I was like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, we out." Son, that, that North Carolina crowd was thick as fuck, son. It was it was so many people there. It was wall to wall, son. Pat, Pat. But salute to them, though, man. North Carolina really showed out. They did. They really did, son. They really did, yo. And the line was long as hell. Yeah, it was North in Carolina the rain, too. It I, was in I the hope rain. Go back. Yeah, I'm I hope with you that. Go back. No, I'm with that. Lit. Man, like, like, I ain't going to front, man. Like, I be on my bullshit, man. You know, like, look, New York be, New York be full of shit sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm hmm. Even though, yeah, even though, though you used to, you want to go somewhere different. Yeah, North Carolina. North Carolina security was out of line, though. Them niggas. <laughs> Yo, they, 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 yeah, they was they was bugging out. Oh yeah, nobody could go here. Nobody could do this. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> nah, son. Like, yo, Trevor, man. Yo, you gotta come to Houston, bro. Man, one day, man, one day. 
I, if the Lord, if the Lord, if the Lord permits, man, if the Lord permits, man, Lord willing, man, yo, that was probably the best battle rap trip I had ever been. Best, one of the best, if not the best event I've ever been to. That was fire. Son. I fuck with no. That whole weekend was fire, bro. That whole weekend. It was like the perfect storm, son. You know, I fuck with Houston, bro. Like, and they, and they, and that shit was packed. I think that, yeah, like Club Warehouse is way, a little bit bigger than um the joint in Charlotte. And I had no problems, bro. No problems. Like, you see the type of problems that we got in Charlotte? I had yeah, no problems. Yeah, it was violating out there. Yeah, yeah, it was, son. Like, I had no problems, son. I had my ticket. I got on. You know what I'm saying? I was on stage, bro. I was able to go back and forth. No problem. No problem. No problem, son. I was Gucci, son. Gucci. Shout out to right, bro. Look, yeah. Yeah, shout out to everybody in Houston and all that. But I'm about to get up off this, man. Like, it was salute to the I Hate Battle Rap podcast and all that, man. Appreciate you being on here with us today. Well, well, yeah, you know what I mean? I had to pull up and show some love, man. Hey, I got to get y'all a little, get y'all a disrespectful guest, man. Yo, call Tay Rock. Tay Rock. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> Somebody controversial here. We ain't gotta be us. Somebody else do that shit. You, you take Rock on here, you know, just talk about somebody he don't really fuck with. He, we he gonna tell him to suck his dick a few times, and you know, he'll yeah, punch that's him all in the face one time. And then, look, and then y'all, and then y'all just, you know, that's how y'all put it on the YouTube. Hey, you know, look, hey, Tay Rock said that such and such. Tay Rock crashed the punched show in the face and tells anyday everyone and he'll smack the shit out of them. Tay Rock said we got the stick. And they yeah. and we got them sticks. We got them sticks. Nah, but like, yeah, that, that, like, see a nigga like Fawns. Fawns talk that battle rap shit all day, but he, he a humble. Like, y'all need somebody that don't care about life. You gotta get Aver. <laughs> hey, Aver, call up the show. It's a, like, you know, Aver don't care about life. He think he's the greatest nigga to ever walk the earth, man. <laughs> and listen, I salute him, man. You know what I mean? I like, listen, some days I feel like I'm the greatest nigga to ever walk the earth. Like, right. that's just how, you know, that's just how I be, man. But, yo, yeah, salute to y'all again, man. When the next show, man? Next week. Next week, same day, same, same time. time. Oh, yeah, I do the show once a week? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why once a week? Oh, yeah. what's what's today, Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. All right, look, look. Listen, Mid- man, midweek, look. Shit, so we got enough content from what happened the week before the th- Nah, nah, that's fire. Nah, you know, listen, I work a lot. I ain't even know what day of the week it was. My fault. All right, yeah, but. <laughs> Salute, man. I hate battle rap, man. Swear the streets don't like you. Don't you bother, Nick. My low died on his clock and he a father figure. And them people that was there, oh yeah, they ran their gauntlets. Can't even look them in their eyes. You ain't no man of honor. I know who to call upon if them days are cloudy.